and sacrifice in order to achieve <laughs> athletic excellence. We ask that as a spectator, you consider the same.
This is Michael Allwhite and Julie Allwhite. Here, here at, at Friday Night Lights in Wascom, Texas. Tonight we have district play. Everyone around uh, tonight is opening district play. Wildcats are 0-0 zero and zero as the New Diana Eagles are. They come in 3-0 and oh as the Wildcats come in 1-3. and three. But tonight the slate is clean and we're into district play. Both teams looking um, favorable tonight. New Diana went 0-6 in district last year. Mm -hmm. And the Wildcats came out, were we third or fourth? We were third. Third in district. But the Eagles have improved, and the Wildcats lost a lot of seniors and got a young team this year. And so it's going to be a tight matchup between the Wildcats and the Eagles. I believe the Wildcats coming in favored to win by one point tonight. So it's anybody's game. Oh, that's a tight. Yep. And we're glad we're here at home to host the Eagles this year. And we hope to get our first district win tonight. Yes, exciting to start district. It's good weather, nice temperature, not too hot tonight. So uh, should be seeing, starting to see some cooler temperatures on these Friday, next Friday nights. Yes, and we're going to um, have some added players. Uh, the, vars the junior varsity didn't have a game last night. So the roster is full tonight, which we needed. Uh, we only had been running about 21 on our varsity roster. So tonight we'll see some new faces. I know we'll have some uh, players starting that hasn't started um, in, the, in the previous game. So if you're watching tonight, you'll hear uh, some new starters probably on the offensive line. And then we'll probably have to see some uh, different faces on defense, hopefully to give uh, some rest to the team that's been uh, uh, fielding these last four games yeah we have quite both a, quite a few players who have played the whole game so if they can get a little rest that'll definitely help us out in the second half for sure yep the eagles they uh played maude quitman and redwater and the wildcats we played uh, redwater julie who else did we, we play? play? Well, last week we played Timpson. <laughs> well, we don't want to talk about that. Yeah, we played Timpson. Uh, it was uh, exciting to see the, uh, that uh, top-ranked team in the state. Yes. Uh, Redwater was a close one, and uh, we had too many mistakes, and Redwater came out victorious, which New Diana beat Redwater last week. Uh, both run a similar offense um, and have uh, a lot of pa passing Paul game Pewitt. to it. We played Paul Pewitt and Sabine. Yeah, we beat Paul Pewitt, and we lost another one to Sabine. Uh, a, a pretty good game that we probably should have pulled out, but we didn't. Mm -hmm. So the Wildcats are looking to get on track here in uh, <coughs> district play. And then next week we'll be uh, in Elysian Fields playing the rivalry game. The rivalry, the, the rivalry on nine. Yes, and um, the Jackets are traveling up to Queen City, which Queen City is in our district. And they have um, – as we get into the evening, as district opens up around the state, um, the, new e the new Diana Eagles, they're coached by um, Jason Pitts. The defensive coordinator is uh, Tyler Zappa. The offensive coordinator – is Offerman, Trinidad, uh, <coughs> Trinidad Offerman, and uh, the offensive line is Jacob Evans. The new Diana Eagles are making their way onto the field as the Wildcats are getting into the tunnel. It sounds like they have a train. Yeah. For those awesome. out there that are following the Eagles, um, the Wildcats, their head coach is Greg Pearson, defensive coordinator, coach Matt Goon. Offensive coordinator, Coach uh, Logan McGill, and special teams coordinator, Michael Downs. Um, the other staff is Leif uh, Catton, Zach Quick, Jeremy Bumpers, Vincent Lee, David Hickenbottom, Gary Norris, Lorenzo Thomas, and Joe Jackson. You see the Wildcats have their run-through sign. They're coming through now. So here comes the Wascom Wildcats. They running out with their Wascom flags and the American flag. So 
So Diana's on the field. The Wildcats are on the field. Got three minutes and 29 seconds. Clock's ticking down before the start of the game. We will have uh, the national anthem and then the coin toss. Coin toss will be brought to you tonight by Visit Marshall. Uh, last week was the first ever Boogie Woogie Festival in downtown Marshall. If you didn't make it out to that, you missed a great time. Check out the Visit Marshall, Texas website on the internet and find out more about the next big event coming up in Marshall. I believe that'll be the Fire Ant Festival in October. Mm. All right, we're getting close to kickoff, so we'll take a short break and we'll be right back with the opening kickoff of district play at Jimmy Ecock Stadium, your Wascom Wildcats. You're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> The Wascom Independent School District, a leader in educating athletics, extracurricular activities, educating our children to be good citizens, but also they can attend major universities and come back home with an education to grow the community in East Texas. This school is a proud Wildcat supporter throughout the year. Go Wildcats! Back here live, Jimmy Ecock Stadium, getting ready to honor America with the national anthem. Can you sing by the dawn early light? What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last and bright stars through the perilous fight on a rampart we walk we're so gallantly sing and the rose gets redder the bones the national anthem that was the wildcat bell tori Wells. she's a senior this year did a great job on that so we're getting it uh set for the coin toss we have the captains for the eagles number 50 uh what's it number nine for the Eagles, yeah, number nine. Cole Sherman. Number six. Is Jacob Johnston. 55. Is Cannon Williford. 19. And number 19 is Landon Holly. They actually have one more, but I can't see his jersey there. He's behind another player right now. Yeah, so the captains for the Wildcats are number five, Caleb Bush, the quarterback. Number four, Kelton Williams. A slot back, defensive back, number 50, John Patrick, offensive line and linebacker, defensive line, and 50 um, to Daniel Garcia. Daniel's a center. Glad to see him back tonight. Yes, and the Wildcats will receive the ball first. And we have time for jerseys with Julie. Jerseys with Julie. Michael, give me some theme music. Then tonight, the New Diana Eagles are wearing white uniforms with navy and gold accents, numbers, and navy helmets. Your Wasp and Wildcats tonight are wearing 
white pants, their black jerseys with white numbers and maroon accents, and their metallic maroon helmets ready to play. All right. Well, there was jerseys with Julie with her theme music. With my theme music. We're ready for some prime time football. We are. Here tonight, the Wascom Wildcats are hosting the new Diana Eagles, and we are getting set for the kickoff. The first half kickoff is brought to you by Maverick Automotive and Exhaust, a custom exhaust shop leading the way in custom muffler and exhaust work. Over 20 years' experience in exhaust pipe bending, specializing in hot rods and muscle cars. There is no pre-benched pipe in their shop. All right, so set to kick off. Do you see which number is kicking for the Eagles? It's like maybe number 12, Justin Hankins. And the kick is up, and he's going to just pooch it over to the second level, and it's going to be picked up by Nate Espy, and he's going to get to the 40-yard line before, before tackled by number three for the Eagles, which is Tavarius Williams. So the Wildcats will take over first and 10 at their 39-yard line. So the Wildcats offense is coming out first. We'll see if we can catch who's coming out on offensive line. Looks like Daniel Garcia is the center. Abraham Terrazas and Caleb Mann, number 79, are the guards. John Patrick and Harley Martin are your tackles. Motion right, back, left. He gives it to Nate and then gets a pitch out to uh, Joe Irving. Joe Irving's got a block on the edge, and he gets a good Pick up into Eagle territory. That's a first down brought to you tonight by Fathom Realty, helping our friends and neighbors meet their East Texas residential, commercial, farm, and ranch real estate needs. Was there a flag? I so didn't see a flag. They're not moving the sticks. I go, oh, now I see a flag. Look, he just threw it. Do you see that? No, but they said holding on the wildcat. Yeah, he threw it and then picked it up. But still a first down. <clears throat> yeah, so um, it was a spot foul after the first down, mm -hmm. so the Wildcats will be at the 50-yard line, pick up a 10 for Joe Irvin. Motion right, they're trying to draw him off. Wildcats will take a pause. Caleb's trying to see what the call is. He runs back into the offense. They've got two receivers to the left. Motion right, and they give it to you – no, he fumbles. The, you know, he gets <laughs> – he tries to give it uh, the pitch again, and then mm -hmm. he gets – a uh, good pickup. That's Caleb Bush, your quarterback. Yeah, he kind of got stuck with it, yeah, but kinda. but he made something out of it, so that's good. Yeah, he picked up eight, so that was a good run by mm -hmm. Caleb Bush. He got eight. Joe Irvin picked up ten after the penalty. Would have picked up twenty. So it is second down and three at the Eagle forty. Three yard line. Wildcats now move the receivers over to the right. You got um, Caleb under center, gives it to Nate, and pulls it away, and he's going to follow him and pick up a first down. Yeah, that's another Fathom Realty first down for the Wascom Wildcats. So let's see, it looks like he picks up six. Caleb Bush picks up six on that run. Moved up to the Eagle 37 yard line. Wildcats quick out of the huddle. They're in a tight formation, flex bone. They're going to try to draw them off sides, and they pause, get the play, gets right back under the center. Mentions a couple of things to his backs. Set, motion right, jet right by Kelton Williams, and he turns up early, and he breaks the tackle, spins several times. And Another Fathom Realty first down for your Wascom Wildcats. Yeah, and um, that was a great run by Kelton Williams. Up to the 10-yard line. Yeah, so that is First and uh, go. seven, 27 yards. Yes, first and goal. 27 yards for Kelton Williams. We're at 10 minutes in the game. Clock's moving. Caleb Bush under center. We got Jackson Hicks out wide to the left. The Wildcats are moving the ball well right now. Motion left. It goes Joe Irving. Drops the ball. Gives it to Nate off the ground. Nate. Breaks a tackle mm -hmm. and picks up a couple of yards. Well, that was uh, definitely 
a, a good pickup because the, when the ball went on the ground, that scared me. Yeah, and I, well, I believe we just actually it was no yards. Mm -hmm. So he was in the backfield. And I'm just glad we came up with the ball. Yeah, so second down and goal. You figured it would have been, it must have been just right inside the 10 because it, it is not a first down and you've got to get a touchdown. One receiver to the left. Caleb Bush is under center. Motions Joe Irving and we pitch it to Joe. Get a block by Kelton Williams and Joe cuts back in for a touchdown. touchdown. Good job by Kelton and Joe on that play. That's, so that's a Watson walkout, Marshall Hometown Tire touchdown. Marshall Hometown Tire keeping your family rolling since 1970. So nine minutes and 16 seconds in the first quarter. Oh, Wascom Wildcats come out scoring tonight. And I think that's the first time this year that we've done that. On that's opening smooth. drive. Yeah. So it's a run <clears throat> by number 10. And uh, Chris Hernandez setting up to kick the extra point. Yeah, so Chris He's is back, back in tonight. Set, and the kick is up. And we needed those points, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, that's great. We've uh, been without a kicker and uh, been having to go for two. So that is wonderful to see Chris back out there. Hope to see him back out there all year. And so we'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. for a great season every Friday night. Hopefully we'll have a long playoff season as well. If you ever need a personal injury attorney, check us out at joshmanus.com. No longer do you need to call anyone in Dallas or Tyler. Since January 1 of this year, we've had over $10 million in verdicts and settlements. Check out our website at joshmanus.com. All right, back here at Jimmy E. Cox Stadium, Wascom Wildcats district play have just got on the board. So we got nine minutes, 16 seconds left to play in the first quarter, and your Wascom Wildcats seven about to kick off to New Diana. This will be their first offensive stand for tonight. And that was Joe Irving on the run for the Wildcats, number 10, sophomore, scoring for the Wildcats. Bring the game live tonight, KMHT, 1450 AM, 96.9 FM. And we got it live on our Wascom Football YouTube page. KMHT, the sports beat of East Texas. Got Chris Hernandez ready to kick off to, it looks like number seven for the D Eagles. Ivan Ben, Ben, how do you say that? Benoit, Benoit. And then number 19, it goes over number 19's hand, Landon Holly, and he's got it. Ooh, that's great for the Wildcats. It went over Holly's head, he touched it, and then it rolled out. So the ball is going to be at the eight-yard line for the, the Eagles. No, he must have not touched it because now here comes the flag. Or at least that official didn't he watch did, it. He, he did it. touch it. He kind of bobbled it, it looked like. Yeah, I thought he touched it yeah. too. Yeah, he, he did. Let me ask the official if he needs to see our replay. Do you got it on that replay? Well, let me put it on the replay. Well, let's see. Uh-oh. Police are coming to check it out. <laughs> maybe, maybe they'll get him. Yeah, let's see what happened. So they're going to re-kick, it looks like. Re-kick. Ah, well, Chris gets another fresh kick. That's kind of crazy. I yeah, mean, I, I swear. I, but, I, may, but perhaps maybe it bounced over his head? Maybe. maybe. I thought, it, I thought he, he went. It did go over his head, but then he went back and kind of bobbled it trying to get it, I thought. But may, maybe, maybe he did Maybe it was already it. in the white. Maybe. maybe. Yeah. Well, you at home, you may know. You may we'll know. have to catch it later. We'll check it out on the replay when, yeah. later on. Got um, the Wildcats getting set to re-kick. And that is the same return men back for Diana. Holly. And it's B-E-N-I-O-T. B-E-N-I-O-T. I think it's Benoit. I think it's uh, or French. Benoit. 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 Chris has got his team uh, spreading out across the 30. He's at the 25. Officials have blown the whistle. Okay. Chris just makes his way to the ball, and the kick is up and kind of coming down at the 30, and it's fielded by number zero, and I'll have to get his name right after this play. And Joe Irving gets a hold of him at the 40, and he breaks mm -hmm. loose and picks up a few more yards. Well, they definitely got better uh, field position than they would, would have, have on the other one. Yeah, that worked out good for them. 
uh, Dewan Johnson is number zero. Mm -hmm. And we get to see the new Diana's offense in action. Nine minutes, seven seconds now left on the clock. Again, your score, Waskin Walk at seven, New Diana zero. This is their first offensive run of the game. And so they're spotting the ball at the Eagle 45. Looks like out there on defense, um, we got Kay Ivey, number 61, starting on defense for the Wildcats. He hadn't been out there on the varsity this year. Oh, it's a good run by number zero, Johnson. Mm -hmm. Just ran the ball back. He picks up for first down and into Wildcat territory. Picked up 12. So you got Harley Martin, number 56, 61 is uh, Kayavi Sanders. I wonder if he's related to Deion Sanders. Primetime football <laughs> Prime right time. here in Wascom, Texas. And I believe that may be John Patrick is the middle linebacker. Moses Zagundez is the left outside linebacker. Nate Esby is the right outside linebacker. Abraham Terrazas is the left side DN. They're going to give it up the middle to 20. And he picks up about four, number 20 for the Eagles. And I believe I can get used to calling his name. He is their halfback. Mm -hmm. um, da Davion Maps. Oh. Davion Maps and the quarterback, he's doing good this year. It's number 10, Levi Green. I believe it's 10, right? What great team! I believe old Levi is a sophomore and he gets a pass out. It's incomplete, mm -hmm. attended. Look, it's a goal. zero. Oh, that it's was, a quarterback, yeah. So, through the ball, he's a zero. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just still seeing uh, oh, uh, Terry Bussey. Uh -huh. No, that's my hand. Nope, it's that day, day one Johnson, number zero. They one is everywhere. He tried to throw it to um, Jaden Johnson, number one. They got Johnsons mm -hmm. all over. They may be brothers. Be Are you sure? Because they got Dejan. He's listed as a freshman. So that's who threw the ball. Okay. Is he the quarterback? I guess he is. He threw the ball. Well, you go there. Because they got a freshman quarterback. Got two receivers to the left, one to the right. He claps for the ball, and he's running right, and he's going to go back up mid the middle. Mm -hmm. like he's him. close to the first down. Yeah. So he's. Um, Let's see where they're going to mark. It's going to be just a little short. So I'm sure they're going to go for that. Yeah. Fourth and one. Uh oh. So Let's see what the defense can do <clears throat> on a fourth and one. So we got a fourth and one. We kind of switched our linebacker squad up a little bit. We moved uh, Nate to the right side, John's in the middle. Moses on that left side. We've got Bubba Jones in as a, a strong safety because they got two receivers to the left, one to the right. Bubba's on the left side. He runs right up on that left side, mm -hmm. and he picks up the first down, and he's got a lot more. That's number 20. He kind of slipped himself there. Uh, he could probably would have kept going, but he slipped. Yep. Davion Maps. So that does give New Diana a fresh set of downs. At the Wildcat, 26. The New Diana Eagles has a pretty good size offensive line. That they do. Yeah, I wonder. So 74 is a senior. Number 50 is a senior. Grayson Howard and Garrett Christie. You know, I can try to catch some of these other guys that are down there in the trenches. He's looking right. He throws a go to his right side. We got a. Back. Oh, and he just got head top there. The new Diana mm -hmm. Eagles score a touchdown. So with six minutes, 30 seconds left to play in the first quarter, new Diana scores on a pass. And that was a 26-yard 26 pass. 26-yard pass. You didn't see who caught it, did you? What number? I could not see who caught it. Is that still it. that big guy over there? Oh, I bet it was 99. The guy I told you was gigantic. Maybe he was tall. Yeah. Because uh, he was... When 99. he jumped, our guy didn't get anywhere near jumping. Aiden so. Hamilton is a Hi, junior, and he looks to be 6'4". And what so we're going to say there? number 99, zero. We just, we just ran to block the kick before. It looked like they even. Aiden Hamilton on the that, catch. So we got a flag there. I don't know why he ran up there. I don't know what he thought happened there. It's called, I think he just uh, was trying to jump the snap, and he got off sides. 
Number 32 looks like it's going to be their kicker for the kick the extra point. Let's see, and that, that player, number 32, is Mac McCoy. And he's a freshman. Okay, and the kick was good, so that'll make your score seven to seven. We're all tied up here at Jimmy E. Cox Stadium in opening of district play. We'll be right back for more Wasco Wildcat football. Has your vehicle been in an accident or in need of a little TLC to get back to that original look? No matter which fits your situation, Auto Body Express of Marshall is here to get your vehicle back to its pre-accident condition. With a lifetime warranty on paint and body work, along with quick, friendly service during the repair, your experience will be second to none. Our state-of-the-art facility ensures the quickest and most reliable service to your vehicle, so you get back on the road sooner and looking better than ever. Auto Body Express will assist you through every step of your vehicle's repair with updates while your vehicle is in our care. So whether you have a car, truck, or SUV, your friends at Auto Body Express are to ensure you that quality auto repairs are no accident. Has your vehicle been in an accident or in need of a little TLC to get back to that original look? No matter which fits your situation, Auto Body Express of Marshall is here to get your vehicle. We're back here live, Jimmy Ecock Stadium. Mm -hmm. Eagles just scored on the Wildcats, tying it up. We've got six minutes, 30 seconds left to play now in the first quarter. Tied, like Michael said, 7-7. Seven to seven. Kick is going to be an onside kick, and we bobble it, and I think it rolls out of bounds. I wonder if they can't kick far. That's just a part of their game plan to not. Well, I, th I think right there they were trying to catch us off guard, and they just about did. But we were able to come up with the ball, or it went out of bounds. Wildcats take over first and 10. Six minutes, 30 seconds. Clock has stopped. 7-7 seven to seven here at Jimmy Ecock Stadium. Opening district play, the Wascom Wildcats and the New Diane Eagles both want to go up for the win in district. Caleb Bush has his team huddled up on the 40. The ball's at the 47. Got two receivers on the right side. Wildcats are set. Caleb Bush is now under center. Motion left, Joe Irving gives it to Nate Espy on the left side. And Nate picks up a good run. He got maybe eight yards. Let's eight see yards. where they spot him at there. That's his first yards of the night. Mm -hmm. I think you're correct. Yeah, I'll bring up second and two. Caleb Bush kind of jogs over here to, towards the sideline, gets the play. Puts the Wildcats in equal territory. Got two receivers to the right. Motion right. Kelton Williams give it to Nate underneath, and Nate breaks through the first string. He makes a move, and that's a good run oh, for Nate Espy. That's a fathom realty first down for Nate Espy and your Alaska Wildcats. That's going to be 20-yard pickup for Nate Espy. They seem to be moving faster tonight. They're getting back set quicker. Yeah, they're they're trying to get tempo. Timpson showed them a little bit on tempo yes, last week because Timpson was fire. And here goes Nate Espy on the right side, and he's just barely caught there at the 19-yard mm -hmm. line. So that's That's 10, another 11, fathom 12, realty first down. 12-yard pickup for Nate Espy. And as Julie said, the Wildcats are hustling to the mm -hmm. line of scrimmage. The ball's on the 20, 5 minutes, 25 seconds. Clock's moving. We've got two receivers to the left, under center, small motion, and they're going to take a brief pause now here and get the play call. 22 seconds on the play clock. It's moving 7-7 seven to seven here in Wascom, Texas tonight. Opening district play. Caleb Bush under center. Motion right. They give it to Nate on the right side again. And he picks up um, three yards. Mm -hmm. like three yards. That's going to put them on the Eagles 16-yard line, second down and seven. Second down and seven. Caleb's coming back into the huddle with the play. Now they're moving the receivers to the left side. It's Bryce Dakota, number eight, and Jackson Hicks, number one. Bush is under center. Motion, Joe Irving left, and they're going to pitch it to Joe Irving. Oh, we missed the block, but he busted the towel. Oh, he, almost, he almost did, but he. Yeah, he just about been lost yards. Yeah. So the receiver missed that block, and Joe got hit, and he spun, but then he lost his footing. Mm -hmm. That's going to back us up a little bit. It'll be a third down at 15 for your Wildcats. So now it's the first pressure part here of the uh, offensive series, mm -hmm. second series for the Wildcats. Receivers 
uh, one coming to the right. Now we have Jace Calhoun, receiver, coming on the right side as well. Bush is waiting for the receiver. Now he's under center, motion right. And we're going to power pass right. And we got a receiver and some backs, and it's going to be picked off. Or is it incomplete? No. So Diana was not fooled, and they pick it off. They did? Yeah, at okay. the one. At the one yard line. Oof. So Diana, that's first turnover of the night. Diana gets the ball on the Wildcat or on their own one yard line. So here comes the Eagles offense. We got them here at the one. Mm. See what they'll spread out or they'll try to get out of the end zone. What will the Eagles come up with here at the one yard line? That's a tough spot. They break the huddle and bring up two receivers to the left and they put one on the right. He's in the shotgun. Back on the right side of him. Motion right. He calls for the snap and they're going to sweep quarterback right and he cuts back and he's going to get just out of the end zone. Gets it to the four. So he picked up three yards. It didn't look like he got maybe two, but he... he They've spotted it pretty well for him. Yeah. What is uh, so zero did that run right? The quarterback, Dejon Johnson, uh, or is it Dewan? Yeah, Dewan Johnson. Dewan Johnson, number zero. Second down and seven. Three minutes here. The clock's moving seven to seven. We just had a turnover. The Wildcats did. Chris Hernandez is a free safety in the back. He's rolling left. He's looking to pass run option. And he does a few moves. Oh, we miss him right there. Yeah, should have had him. Yeah, Nate Espy uh, had him kind of plugged in there, and he did a good little move. Picked up the first down. So the quarterback's been doing well for the D Diana Eagles this year and posing some problems for the Wildcats here early. Yeah, and if he's a freshman, he's that's great because uh, they'll have him for three yeah. more years of only getting better. Eagles bring two receivers to the left. See if we can catch that receiver is over to the right if it's the same one that caught the touchdown. He calls for the snap. He gives it to his halfback. He's going to go off tackle, and Nate gets that Yeah, that tackle. was a good one there. That's a good tackle. That was number 20, and that's Maps for the Eagles. It'll be second down and 10 or, or 9. They, they move him, give him a, a yard. Second down and nine on their own 16-yard line. So both teams, as we were uh, projecting. Mm -hmm. uh, Are pretty, pretty evenly matched. Yeah, pretty evenly matched. Wildcats so with the far. first mistake. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Calls for the snap. He's looking to pass. Now Harley gets him out oh, of the pocket. Oh, oh, we oh. miss him in the pocket. He's going to get up here. He's going to pass it. Woo, and that's good defense. And... The intended pass was for number 20, Maps, broken up by Chris Hernandez. He was under pressure, though. So good pressure by the Wildcats, huh? Mm -hmm. One minute, 35 seconds left to play now in the first quarter. Still tied 7-7. Seven to seven. The Wildcats need a defensive hold after that turnover. Definitely. Third down and nine. We'll see what we can do here. Definitely need a defensive stand. So the Wildcats having the secondary, um, Montez Thompson, Delton Williams on the right side, Jace Calhoun on the left side. He gets a snap and he's going to pitch it to Maps and Joe Irving gets there first and then Bubba Jones and Moses, or Leo Agundez. So a good play by the Wildcats. A little punt. Great job, Wildcats. Yeah, fourth down, so a hold for, for us. So fourth down and... They're on their 14. So, so we had a, a stop on defense. Yeah. That calls for some theme music. Yeah, there we go. Julie's theme music going. And the Wildcats hold. The Eagles are set to punt on the two-yard line. Gets the snap. The punt is almost blocked by Harley Martin. Good punt. And we're going to get out of the way. And the Wildcats will take over first and 10. So the Wildcats are coming out here. 
going to get the ball in Eagle territory. That was a great recovery after the interception, which I like the play uh, the Wildcats ran. That was that halfback pass. I, I call it power pass, but for the Wildcats, it's a um, halfback pass because they generally sweep or option out of that motion, not the power play. We've got two receivers to the right. Motion right, Kelton Williams, and we don't – oh, and they read that. They got Nate right at the line of scrimmage. So we fake the, the jet, which we run quite often, and then we try to come on a counter with the B-back. And the Eagles, that was that uh, – that, who's the guy with the hair, number three? I can't see his number, but that was a good play. It's a little hard to see the numbers. Uh, yeah, the Eagles. The, their numbers they got to turn just... exactly towards us. Mm -hmm. Which I mean, that makes sense because they don't have we, they don't have any um, on their tops of their shoulder pads. So the Wildcats are uh, second down and twelve. We're in a tight formation. Motion left, give it to Bubba Jones, and he gets around the edge, and Bubba's out on the edge. He cuts back in, and ooh, picks up a good five or six, and that's mm -hmm. the end of the first quarter. So Bubba Jones on the carry. Let's see what they spot that with. May have been, so I'm going to give him seven. Seven for the number seven. We'll be right back with some more Waston Wildcat football. This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> Five Star Builders, the leader in barn construction and barn dominium construction, garage, storage buildings, all for you the way you want them. We have the experience, we have the knowledge, and we have the qualified men to do the job right for you. Check it out. Call 903-407-7627 to get a qualified representative to come speak to you. That's 407-7627. Go Wildcats. Back here live, Jimmy Cox Stadium, Wascom, Texas. Your Wildcats are tied up with the Eagles, 7-7. Seven to seven. Just starting the second quarter, and Wildcats are third down, or second down, second down. What's this third down on, on the, which is it? The board uh, says It is second. third down because Bubba okay. just made a run, got us back into positive territory. And I, I didn't see what happened there. I think it fumbled and we picked it up. Mm -hmm. Good job by Nate. Um. We had a lot of well, I had a lot of misdirection going there. Looks like the Wildcats are throwing in some um, new plays. Well, that's going to bring up fourth down. Yeah, let's see what the Wildcats draw up here. Fourth and six. Are they going to go for it? Looks like we're going for it. Here comes mm -hmm. Caleb Bush. I don't think our our uh, clock guys. I think they believe it's third because they changed it from second to third, but the guy on the field has four yeah well, I don't know what was going on but we got two receivers to the right motion right and they give it to Nate he's going to pitch it pitch it no pitch it no and we didn't pitch it, pitch it no. so we didn't pick up the first down Let's see if the one was on field yep it's going to turn over on downs oh that's the first time I think we've been out where the quarterbacks had that option so yeah, I think he's available, yeah. but it was it was a tough one. It was yeah. a tough call, but I, I think definitely should have pitched it. But of course, that's hindsight. So but the we, thing about it is, it. is it's good that he's got some time. So that means the blocking mm -hmm. is is good. is improved. Yeah, and um, so things can develop here. So the Wildcats are out on four, just as they held. Mm -hmm. We need the defense now to get another stop. New Diana takes over. So one hands off to Maps. He's going left, and he's going to pick up about five. He stopped by Montez Thompson, number 23, coming out of that free safety position now with some help from Nate, S.B., and K.I.V. Sanders. Coming up second and sixth, Eagles at their 40-yard line. Looks like here, too, what is that, 25 we got out there? 
Elijah Mockins is a sophomore. He's playing some defensive back. Number 25 here on the left side, giving some breaks to Joe Irving. And so we got some uh, support here uh, with some bench, some depth. Quarterback has it. He's going to throw a go left. And we've got coverage. Oh, and it's just a perfect mm -hmm. pass. And he's going to be in for the end zone. So that's a, um, that a pass from 60 there. yards. Oh, yeah. 10 minutes, 13 seconds left to play in the second quarter. New Diana scores on a 60-yard pass. Who did he throw it to? Wasn't a tall guy. That guy, it was a perfect pass. It caught him in stride. Is it number one? Might have been number one. I don't know. Jay, Jay in that far to, left, the far corner. And it's I number one, see. zero to one. I think that might be his brother because it's Johnson to Johnson or Cousins. And the extra point is good, so that's going to bring your score. Waskin Walkout 7, New Diana Eagles 14 with 10 minutes, 13 seconds left to play in this first half of football. So they scored both of theirs on passes. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Waskin Walkout football. Atex Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of Watscombe Wildcat Football. Atex Telephone is behind the football team, the band, the color guard, and the cheerleaders 100%. Atex Telephone commends the hard work and dedication exemplified by each of these organizations. It is through their hard work and sacrifice that winners emerge. Best of luck from Atex Telephone Cooperative, serving the telecommunication needs of rural East Texas since 1952. Go Watscombe Wildcats! Atex Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of Watscombe Wildcat Football. Atex Telephone is behind the football team, the band, the color guard, and the cheerleaders 100%. Atex Telephone commends the hard work and dedication exemplified by each of these organizations. This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> Back here at Jimmy Cox Stadium, the Eagles just scored 14 to 7 up over the Wildcats, and they just onside kicked to the Wildcats, and it was uh, filled up by Bubba Jones, and he, he took a knee, and so the Wildcats will take over first and 10 from their 47 yard line. So 10 minutes, 13 seconds, the clock is. Stopped at the moment. The Wildcats have come out here. Have to get something going on offense. Got two receivers to the left. Motion left. We give a pitch, and we're going to try to go up the middle, and we're going to be stopped at the line of scrimmage. By number 99. If I'm not mistaken, New Diana is one of the schools that usually has a, a really good band. 99, Aiden Hamilton, I don't know. Stay tuned at halftime for the halftime shows, and the Bells will have the mini Bells from camp this week performing with them. Wildcats in the flex bone. Ooh, just about got a jump mm -hmm. from 99, Hamilton. Should have snapped it, I think. We may have got him. They're setting the flex bone. Receiver out on each side. Motion left. We're coming back right. And Caleb Bush is going to keep it. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. And he picks up a pretty good pick up there, mm -hmm. Caleb Bush. Got a little push forward by their players. Yeah. Kind of gave us an extra yard there with their push. Five-yard pickup for Caleb Bush. So we need to – we don't get the ball at the half – at the second half, so we need to score. No, definitely need to score. Really need to score twice. Yeah. So we're at the Eagles 48 yard line in a tight flex bone formation. Motion left, and we are going to jet left this time, and we can't get it quite through there, but it's still a oh, good that's run. Close. Yeah, it's going to be about a two yards short of the first down. It's Joe Irving. He's going to pick up three. And 
And we've got a uh -oh, fourth and three. Fourth and three. I thought it was closer than that. I, I always think a little closer. It's fourth and two on the board. Okay. Fourth and two, but it's a it's a long two. Flex bone, two receivers out wide. Motion right. Can't get those eagles to jump. Wildcats getting the play. And they're going to call timeout to talk it over with the fourth and two. So we'll take a quick break as well. We'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. Hey, Wildcat fans. This is Josh Manus, attorney at law. Let's all support the Wildcats for a great season every Friday night. Hopefully we'll have a long playoff season as well. If you ever need a personal injury attorney, check us out at joshmanus.com. No longer do you need to call anyone in Dallas or Tyler. Since January 1 of this year, we've had over $10 million in verdicts and settlements. Check out our website at joshmanus.com. Has your vehicle been in an accident or in need of a little TLC to get back to that original look? No matter which fits your situation, Auto Body Express of Marshall is here to get your vehicle back to its pre-accident condition. With a lifetime warranty on paint and body work, along with quick, friendly service during the repair, your experience will be second to none. Our state-of-the-art facility ensures the quickest and most reliable service to your vehicle, so you get back on the road sooner and looking better than ever. Auto Body Express will assist you through every step of your vehicle's repair with updates while your vehicle is in our care. So whether you have a car, truck, or SUV, your friends at Auto Body Express are to ensure you that quality auto repairs are no accident. Back here live, Jimmy Ecock Stadium. Wildcats coming out of timeout. Fourth and two in Eagle territory at the 45. Wildcats need this first down. Flex bone when we bobble the snap. and oh, He picks it up and he gets the first down. So that was. That's a fathom realty first down, and that was scary. Yeah, that was an eight yard pickup by Caleb Bush. Man. Got us nervous here. Got us nervous. But hey, a positive thing there is the offensive line is doing a great job because. The ball hit the turf. He had time to pick it up and get around that side. Makes you wonder what's going on here on this left side. The offensive line doing a good job in the flex bone. Receivers out wide. Motion left. And we're going to fake the pitch. Oh, he's got a screen set up. And Nate gets it. Oh, and he trips him up. Mm -hmm. Oh, good play, though, for the Wildcats. Yeah. He's going to be right at the first down marker. I think he's going to be a yard short. If he wasn't tripped up, yeah. he would have been gone, I think. That's right. And I think. Is it eight-yard pickup on a pass? So bring up second and two, ball at the 38-yard line. Bush is running into the huddle. The Wildcats have um, got past that fourth down play in another series of downs on second. Got our two receivers to the left now. And we're going to motion left. We've got to get this edge. Oh, we're going to cut him. Nate just breaks loose. He was, uh, got hung in there in the uh, first wave, and he broke loose. That is another Fathom Realty first down. Let's see where they spot it. So he's only going to pick up five on that, but a great job by All Nate Espy. All push and heart from Nate Espy. So we got a ball on the 22 of the Eagles. Wildcats needing the score. In the flex bone, got the... Receiver set. Caleb Bush is checking his B back. Now he's going to get under center. Motion left, and we're going to give it. Who did they give it? Nope. He got crunched by 99. 99 Hamilton on the sack. Yeah, sack. He's going to lose a yard. So it's second down and 12 now. So we're getting kind of a little bit in the hole. Mm -hmm. Wildcats have come out of the huddle. Waiting on Caleb to get under center. Two receivers to the left. Receivers kind of in tight motion left. Give it to Nate. And Nate's going to break that tackle. Break another one, Nate. And he can't get loose of that second. Uh-oh. Going to get a horse, or, uh, horse collar. So we're going to pick up a first down. Good run by Nate Espy. And that's a good hard run because he was had the Eagles on him at the, at the uh, line of scrimmage. Well, I, I, call I called it. it a face mask. Face mask. Mm -hmm. Let's see, is it going to be a 15 or a 5? 
So he's at the 19, and he's fixing to walk it off. And it's going to be one of those 10 yards. Puts it as first and goal just inside the 10. This is where we were at earlier. Yeah, this time we need to uh, make sure that we... Well, we got it in on that time we were in, remember? We were okay. under the 9. It was when we came back and we tried that pass. Okay. And it got picked off. But still, I mean, everything the Wildcats have been doing uh, has looked good. The Eagles edging us out on a few plays. We just got to keep stringing them together. Motion left. We're going to pitch it to Kelton. No, that's Joe Irving. Joe puts some footwork in there and gets inside the five. Mm -hmm. So good job by offensive line. Good running by Joe Irving, the fourth. It's a shoestring tackle. Got yeah. him by his foot. And we'll see where they spot it. Tell me if it's the three or the four. I think it's the four. So it's going to pick up six. We're going to give him six yeah. where that ball is spotted. Second down and four. Second down. Four. Second and goal. Second four, and four, goal. Four minutes, 40 seconds left to play. Flex bone motion right, and we're going to give it to Nate, and that's a perfect call. He's going to get close. The one or two, they're going to hustle him back. The ball is on the one. Uh oh. Did he did he get it in, Julie? Was it Nate? I say he got it in. The referees aren't quite uh, if they don't get it in, then you just oh, it was a quarterback sneak. I just noticed we lost our um our other little Camera? Yeah, right here. It must be back behind this. I'm off to fool with that. See. So what what do we got here? Second. Is it fourth down? Oh, where is this? Oh, all right. There it goes. Three minutes, got it back. Three minutes forty four seconds. Second quarter there on the inch mark. And the Eagles are going to call timeout. Okay. So we got a. Is that a fourth? Yes. Or is it second, Julie? It says fourth and one. So Joe went, Nate went, sneak. Yeah, fourth and one, guys. We got a fourth and one. We're going to take a timeout. We'll stay right here. We're getting close to the half. Three minutes, 31 seconds. Wildcats are down by seven to the Eagles. Here, I'll, let me see if I can pull up some other area scores while we're waiting. So the Wildcats. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Tatum, they started earlier than us tonight. They are down to Lumberton. I don't even know where Lumberton is, but they're down 23-7 to to Lumberton. Queen City is up 12 to Elysian Fields is 6. Timpson over Grapeland, 17-0. Shelbyville over Joaquin, 14-6. Harmony over Hugh Springs, 33-0. They're in the second quarter. Gunner over Gladewater, 7-0, still in the first quarter. Oh, what was the Gunner score? Seven to zero. Frankston over Harleton, twelve to zero, still in the first quarter. Marshall over Pine Tree, still in the first quarter, three to zero. Let's see here. Hallsville down to Texas High by six, six to zero right now. And Gilmer and Prosper tied at seven. We'll check those area scores back out after halftime. So look, they put ninety-nine in the over the center. Or over on that left side gap. Got one receiver to the left. We take the snap and we give it to Nate. And he's on the left he's side. In. And, and that, they try to get that's a Wascom Wildcat touchdown. Marshall Home Tire brought to you tonight. Touchdowns for Wascom. Marshall Home Tire, our family keeping your family rolling since 1970. So three minutes, 25 seconds. Wascom's on the board. Mm -hmm. this is um, who's, so That's a run. One yard run. Nate Espy and we'll set up to... A kick, or let's see. Looks like we're going to go for two. Rut row. So the Wildcats are set up for two. We're in a tight formation motion right. And they give it to Kelton. And Kelton makes it in, Julie. Okay. You go, you go Kelton. Two-point attempt is good. That puts Wascom up 15-14 to 14 over the new Diana Eagles with three minutes, 25 seconds left to play in the first half of football. There's that one point. Don't forget to stay with us at halftime. We'll have entertainment from both fans and 
Like we mentioned earlier, the uh, Wildcat Bells had a clinic this week for the Little Bells. I think it's a Barbie-themed clinic, and they're going to do a little Barbie-themed dance with those young girls at halftime. That'll be fun to watch. You might have a daughter or a granddaughter performing with them. So the Wildcats and the Eagles having a battle here in opening district game, 15 to 14. Does the W come up? Yeah, on our little... Yeah, that looks good, don't it? Mm -hmm. That'd be on the new scoreboard. I guess it's uh, got it last year. Yeah, our video scoreboard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's got the new turf this year. So the Eagles come out uh, to receive the kickoff at the Wildcat score. I wonder if the Wildcats may try to onside kick. Probably want to kick it deep here, especially right. with that passing game. Yeah, I'm wondering about New Dinah because they haven't kicked deep. Yeah, they at haven't all. kicked deep. It may just be a part of their game that they just, that's what, how they do it. And they've won three games in a row, so whatever they're doing has been working well for them. So Nate Espy is set to kick off for the Wildcats. And the Diana Eagles are at the 24 and the 20. So let's see what the Wildcats do here. They kick it, ooh, to the 20. And that's going to be the quarterback, right? Yeah, and he's looking pretty fast right there. He did look pretty fast. Yeah. He gets all the way back up. We should have onside kicked it. <laughs> he got all the way back to the 48. Mm -hmm. Take a look at our camera at halftime. Everything's looking a little dark on my screen tonight. I don't know why. Maybe it's just your screen. Maybe. Yeah, maybe it's one of those. Uh, uh, need to increase the contrast mm -hmm. or something. Three minutes, 14 seconds. The Eagles come out here. The Wildcats have had trouble with the Eagles passing game. That scored two touchdowns in the air. The Wildcats two on the ground. Got receivers to the right is two receivers. Oh, and they get the Wildcats jumping. Sure Unless did. somebody moved because the ball did roll out. Oh, offense, defense. My goodness. So that'll put Eagles up five yards. They don't need any help, Wildcats. So now we're in Wildcat territory. First and five. Eagles will probably keep the same set. The quarterback's going over to the sidelines to talk to his coach. Now he's running back to the huddle. The they won Johnson number zero. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Calls for a snap, gets it to his maps on the left, and maps gets out there, and he's gonna almost be off to the races. Mm -hmm. He gets a first down, picks up about 14 yards. Is the clock moving? Seemed like it was three minutes and seven when we kicked it. I guess it was three minutes and 14. Now. Yeah. Three minutes and seven. Ball's at the Wildcat 31. So this is going to be an uh, exciting game. Folks, stick with us here. 1450 AM, KMHT, 96.9 FM. Eagles have two receivers to right, one to the left. He's going to roll out right, run pass option, and he throws it. And, oh, whoo, and it's knocked away by Kelton Williams. That almost could have been pass interference by the offense. Yeah. Oh, and so it's interesting. Um, we, we've we been able to switch up our secondary. We got um, been running different defensive backs. Chris Hernandez is a safety, number six. And Montez Thompson, number 23, comes in. Elijah Mockins is playing tonight. Number 25 is a DB. He's not in right now, but he's been rotating in. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. We're going to roll out here with Johnson. He's going to cut back, and he's going to get about three or four before he's tackled by um, John Patrick, Kayavi Sanders, and um, Chris Hernandez. And I believe Bubba Jones was in on that tackle as well. The two minutes, 25 seconds left now. 
in the second quarter. Third down and five for New Diana on our 26 yard line. So they got plenty of time. We'd like to get a hold here. I saw them warming up. I believe they got a kicker. Well, we hadn't seen them kicking it deep, but I saw them warming up on the. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was punts. I think they have a. That was punts. That yeah, that's their practice. Okay, they got a timeout. A timeout for the Eagles. And they're going to draw up a play that they think will get them in the end zone. It's third down and five <laughs> at the 26. We'll stay here because we got the halftime just knocking on the door. So we missed mention a lot of the halftime festivities lined up. I see our police chief riding his cart. He's on the north side there. He's always skedaddling around. That makes you feel safe. Yep, got him out there. I see him here. We got Ken Carpenter and Jimmy Wharton down there running the clocks. Always volunteering to help. Mm -hmm. And Stan, the man, is on the mic tonight as the a public announcer, and he is um, accompanied by Ray and Patty, the superintendent, running the video scoreboard. We're out of the timeout, we got two receivers left for Diana, one to the right. Johnson takes the snap, and he's going to roll left, looking to pass. We got, oh, that was an overpass. Thank you. Over, mm -hmm. He overthrew him. I'm yeah. sorry. I was just excited, folks, that he overthrew him. Yeah. But we had coverage. And we've had coverage all night, even on the um, completed receptions. It's been good defense, just a little bit better offense. Now it's fourth and five. On those pass plays that went in for scores. It but don't look like they're going to. They're going to go for it. So this is tricky. Right here, two minutes left to play. Two minutes left to play. On our 26-yard line. It's fourth down. Fourth and five. It's fourth down. Should we? I think you need your theme music. You think I need theme music? Yeah, I don't we're know. Try I better stop wait and see. No, we're going to stop him. He's going back to pass. He throws a screen, and he drops it. And ah. the theme music comes through, and the Wildcats will take over first and 10 with a, just about two minutes, one Ooh, second under. That was scary. You were like, well, I, maybe we should wait. I oh. was nervous. Yeah, you got to get it out in front. Okay. Get it off at the pass, oh. Cochise. So now look at the band. They do have a pretty big band. Yeah. Uh, New Diana, I think they do have a good band. Uh, Bailey texted me to remind me that Queen City is the one who I think I was thinking of that has the really big uh, good band. But yeah. I'm sure New Diana has a great band too. Yeah. That, but the one I was thinking of that has the really big band is Queen, Queen City. City. And that's where the jackets are up there. Um, um, are they at Queen District. City? Yeah, they're at Queen City. So we come out here on offense, one minute, 59 seconds. Bush is under center, going to pitch it right to Captain Williams. Ooh, and we missed that block. He got so caught. That's a big guy on a little, mm -hmm. little blocker, and the big guy won. Blocking is important. It's tough, too. One minute, 44 seconds. We would like to get down here and. Score, Man. but the clock is not on our side. It's not, but it sure would be nice. You think we'll try a pass? Second down and 13. Yeah, I think they'll try one. I, th I, I would give it, I would give it uh, to this left side first because we're on the right hash. Flex bone. Motion left. Oh, and we give it to Nate. Nate's, he, they did not see him. And Nate's out on the run to the 40. 45, 50, he's got a block. Let go, let go. Oh, no, 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 no. Number side judge. What happened? He called a holding. That's a good block. You need to look it up. Um, Nate was running. Uh, come get that sideline judge. Uh, that, Nate was running right behind our scoreboard here. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't get the camera moved on. I'm it. like, come on. That was a perfect block by Jace Calhoun. Yeah, it looked like it was a little tug there, hey, but that guy jerked away. Somebody knows how to block. It's Jace Calhoun. Yeah, come on now. But that was a good run by Nate Espy. They did not see him. And it, it, either way, it should still be a fathom realty first down. And it's right here, so we're going to be in Eagle territory. So great run by Nate. Nate picked up mm -hmm. 20, 30, 
43. I see uh, Coach explaining to, to the line judge how that was a good yeah, block. It there. was. It was a dick on good block. Two receivers to the right, motion left. Oh, Bobble got it to Nate. Nate bobbles, and we're just going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Blow the whistle. I mean, this side judge over here, I mean, look. What's he doing? I don't know. I got to tell you, uh, Jace Calhoun, has, these uh, officials have not been good to him this year because. Uh, yeah, he got the touchdown in the end zone. Yeah, and that that one did, you know, the uh, referee committee, whatever, did did yeah, look they, at that and come back and say that was a bad call. Yeah, coach called the um, had area that. chapter. They reviewed it, and it was a bad call. Second down, clock's under 30 seconds. Caleb Bush in the flex bone with his offense. Going to motion right. We're going back to pass. Oh, God, they just looked at him. Oh, it's going to be picked. Stop him, guys. Stop him. Stop him, guys. Stop him. Stop him. Ooh, and we barely stopped him. It's at the 25. So we did, did do a pass, but it didn't turn out. And I was a little worried about that. Yeah, I would just I, – I don't know what the referees were mm -hmm. seeing, but – it looked like maybe we had pass interference down here, but it was probably after the catch. So we got to hold them out of here just to hang on to the lead. Yeah, 13 seconds. Yeah, I'm thinking I would have stayed on that ground game. That Nate had that. He had it run. going, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, had it going. Just, just keep feeding that to be safe. Now we got to come in here and lock down on defense. May need to go to cover two. First and 10, the Eagles will be at the 25-yard line. Two receivers to the right. And now the Wildcats will call a timeout. We'll take a quick break. It's been a long three minutes. We'll be right back for the uh, rest of the first half of Wascom Wildcat football. This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> Five Star Builders, the leader in barn construction and barn dominium construction, garage, storage buildings, all for you the way you want them. We have the experience, we have the knowledge, and we have the qualified men to do the job right for you. Check it out. Call 903-407-7627. Get a qualified representative to come speak to you. That's 407-7627. Go Wildcats. Back here at Jimmy Ecox Stadium. Wasco Wildcats up 15 to 14. 13 seconds left till halftime. Eagles have the ball first and 10 at the Wildcat 25. This is. Oh, making me nervous. Yeah, and look at this. This is that Hamilton that caught that first pass. He's probably 6'3. Joe Irving's probably 5'10. Doesn't look like he has any safety help. Two receivers to the right. We got a free safety in the middle. Favor this left side. They're gonna throw the screen to Maps and just keep him in bounds. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we got him in bounds. Do they have any more timeouts? I think they have one more timeout. That was a good tackle. I think it's Bubba Jones on the tackle and Joe Irving. So it's three seconds left. Did they have a timeout left? I guess they had one. Like ah, that one even on stinks board. more. All right, Coach. Mm. So One scary. More. I'm so worried. It yeah, I want it to so be a good halftime. If they score, it's not going to make for a good halftime. <laughs> <laughs> 15 to 14, Wildcats have three seconds here to hold the Eagles out of the end zone. You know what they're going to do. What? They're going to throw that go pass. They're going to throw that go pass. Yeah, I mean, that's that's all you – That's all you. I mean, because if they intercept it, mm -hmm. you're pretty safe. But I would like to see us intercept that and run oh, it back. Oh, wouldn't that be wonderful? We would have to definitely get double. play my theme music if that happened. Yeah, and we got to get double coverage on that 99. I mean, he's like three of me, and I'm pretty <laughs> tall. Yeah. Uh-oh, look, Julie, they got a kicker. Oh, they're going to kick. Yeah. Who is that, 32? So let's see who number 32 is. He's the extra point kicker. So number 32, is that who it is? 
Mac McCoy, freshman. They got freshmen everywhere. They're like us. So it's a th oh, it's a bobble. Thirty-five. Get it, get it, get it. Yeah. And that bobble sacked by JJ Moore. And Harley Martin's fired up. Let's have some theme music. Uh oh. We're gonna get this half of fifteen to one. We won the first half. The Wascom Wildcats. Got to come out here and win the side. Oh, look. And then the referees, they always want to do something. What are they going to do? Look, I, I don't know what they're going to do, but it's absolutely ridiculous. So we're going to see what the referees have to say. I mean, it's half. What are yeah, they doing? I don't know what they're doing. Only they know what they're doing, and, and it doesn't look like it's positive. The referees positive. are in a huddle. Yeah, in the center of the field. Yeah, he's going to like, we're going to the half. The clock Let's ran see. out. Yeah, I'm like, good grief, y'all gonna get mauled if you call something on that. So the Wildcats come out here, win the first half 15 to 14, but unless we get a rainstorm, that doesn't count. Mm -mm. We got a whole back. second half of football to play, and when we come back, uh, New Diana will get the ball first. Yeah, so we're gonna come back with our halftime shows. We're gonna take a quick break as they get set up. We'll be right back with the halftime events. ATEX Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of Watscombe Wildcat Football. ATEX Telephone is behind the football team, the band, the color guard, and the cheerleaders 100%. ATEX Telephone commends the hard work and dedication exemplified by each of these organizations. It is through their hard work and sacrifice that winners emerge. Best of luck from ATEX Telephone Cooperative, serving the telecommunication needs of rural East Texas since 1952. Go Watscombe Wildcats! ATEX Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of Watscombe Wildcat Football. ATEX Telephone is behind the football team, the band, the color guard, and the cheerleaders 100%. ATEX Telephone commends the hard work and dedication exemplified by each of these organizations. It is through their hard work and sacrifice that winners emerge. Best of luck from ATEX Telephone Cooperative, serving the telecommunication needs of rural East Texas since 1952. Go Watscombe Wildcats! This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> The Wascom Independent School District, a leader in educating athletics, extracurricular activities, educating our children to be good citizens, but also they can attend major universities and come back home with an education to grow the community in East Texas. This school is a proud Wildcat supporter throughout the year. Go Wildcats! Hey Wildcat fans, this is Josh Manus, attorney at law. Let's all support the Wildcats for a great season every Friday night. Hopefully we'll have a long playoff season as well. If you ever need a personal injury attorney, check us out at joshmanus.com. No longer do you need to call anyone in Dallas or Tyler. Since January 1 of this year, we've had over $10 million in verdicts and settlements. Check out our website at joshmanus.com. Back here live, Jimmy E. Cox Stadium. We're at halftime here. Wildcats up 15 to 14 over the New Diana Eagles. Some other area scores tonight. Gilmer right now up over Prosper 21 to 7. Texas High over Hallsville 6 to 0. Sabine and Pittsburgh tied at 7. Marshall right now up over Pine Tree 10 to 7. Frankston over Harlton 12 to 7. West Grusk over Arp 14 to 0. Union Grove over Orr City 9 to 0. Gunter over Gladewater, 21-0. Harmony over Hugh Springs, 39-0. Shelbyville over Joaquin, 21-6. Timpson over Grapevine, 32-0. Queen City over Elysianfields, 18-6. And Lumberton over Tatum, 30-7. Wow. So that's some area scores here starting district play. Wildcats are up 15-14. to 14. The Eagles come in 3-0. and The Wildcats 1-3. But we start with a clean slate. We're hoping to get out of here to be 1-0. We're going to go out to the field. We have the new Diana Eagles out there performing. We're going to go out to the field for a bit.
Now listen, as the Eagle Band performs the Killian Fanfare, Boys of the Old Brigade March, the Tripoli Temple Trio, and Drum Major March, and the Firebird Suite in a traditional military marching routine. This week's Marchers of the Week are Elizabeth Hutchinson and Easton Sims. The section of the week is the clarinet section. The band is under the field direction of senior drum majors Riley Stevenson and Hallie Martinez. Riley is the son of Cheyenne and Mike Stevenson, and Hallie is the daughter of Bernie and Janelle Martinez. There's the new Diana High School Band. We're getting set for our bells to come out, and they have a special uh, 
Bell's night tonight. It's not just going to be our regular Bell's. Mm -hmm. They had a clinic this week for little girls, and they are the Barbie Bell's tonight. And I think they even have a little Barbie car over there with somebody riding in it. So I, I know it's going to be cute. It's going to be an interesting show. We're going to take a quick break with our sponsors, and we'll be back with uh, Wasquam Cat Bell's and Mini Bell's. Mm -hmm. Has your vehicle been in an accident or in need of a little TLC to get back to that original look? No matter which fits your situation, Auto Body Express of Marshall is here to get your vehicle back to its pre-accident condition. With a lifetime warranty on paint and body work, along with quick, friendly service during the repair, your experience will be second to none. Our state-of-the-art facility ensures the quickest and most reliable service to your vehicle so you get back on the road sooner and looking better than ever. Auto Body Express will assist you through every step of your vehicle's repair with updates while your vehicle is in our care. So whether you have a car, truck, or SUV, your friends at Auto Body Express will ensure you that quality auto repairs are no accident. This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> Five Star Builders, the leader in barn construction and barn dominium construction, garage, storage buildings, all for you the way you want them. We have the experience, we have the knowledge, and we have the qualified men to do the job right for you. Check it out. Call 903-407-7627 to get a qualified representative to come speak to you. That's 407-7627. Go Wildcats. All right, back here live, Wascom, Jimmy Cox Stadium, opening district play. We're in the halftime. I'm going to do a first half wrap-up. Nine minutes, 16 seconds of the first quarter, Wascom scores first on a run by number 10, Joe Irving, the fourth 10-yard run, extra point kick by Chris Hernandez. The Wildcats went up 7-0. to With six minutes, 30 seconds left in the first quarter, Diana came right back and scored with a pass from Johnson, number zero, to number 99, Hamilton. 26-yard pass. The extra point attempt was successful. 7-7, seven to seven, tie ball game. 10 minutes, 13 seconds in the second quarter. Diana came back and scored again with a pass, number zero, Johnson, to number one, Johnson. 60-yard pass. Uh, extra point was successful. 14-7, to seven, and the Eagles went up over the Wildcats. Then in the uh, second quarter with three minutes and 25 seconds, the Wildcats came back uh, with a run from Nate Espy after getting down fourth and two and a few other close plays. Nate punches it in on another fourth down and goal, one yard run. They went for two, Kelton Williams, number four, scored that and the Wildcats went up to 15 to 14 and that's where we're at at the half, Julie, 15 to 14. Boy, and uh, boy, that last, uh, probably last, Gosh, we think six minutes or so was some uh, exciting football, but made me scared. Well, I mean, it, we we uh, projected a close game, mm -hmm. and you know, even um, some of the uh, uh, guys that uh, what do they do the stats and they do mm -hmm. the um, yeah uh, predictions. You know, they predicted it being a one score game, mm -hmm. one and, point game. Yeah, and one it point is game. one point. And Oop, it is. I just hit the camera. Is the camera okay? This one. No. Uh oh. I done knocked off the camera. Yeah, and it is a one point game, so they were right. And now bells are lining up and getting ready. Like we said uh, earlier, we got the little Barbie bells coming out tonight to perform with the girls they, from a clinic that they had this week. So we're going to go on the field and um, enjoy this. Well, and how many do you think is out there? That's, that's, that's quite a, a big few. batch of girls. Yeah, isn't it? that's exciting. Yeah, and I bet it's fun for them mm -hmm. uh, dressed up. And ready to perform. Let's see. We'll see if they got any anything out on the field yet. I, I just hear the the stand, so we'll give them a set a second to get set up. They're making uh, lines Ladies around the W. Presenting your Wascom High School Wildcat Bells, featuring the Little Barbie Bells. The Wildcat Bells and the Little Barbie Bells will be doing a totally awesome Barbie routine tonight. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Get 
getting ready for the music to start for the Barbie Bells and the Wascom High School Bells. was cute and I know those girls had a good time this week learning that routine and being able to be around those older girls so thank you to our Wildcat Bells for doing that this week and, and uh, being mentors and leaders to the younger girls in the community so we'll be getting set for our band to get set up and they'll be performing one more time for the Rusk of High School Bells that Barbie car is cracking me up. Yeah. She's having a and great she's time. Driving it off she? There. She? I, I thought there was not supposed to be any vehicles on the field. Oh, there's a vehicle uh -oh. on the field. There's a vehicle on the field. I think it's weight limit. Look, she okay. is she is having a ball. <laughs> so we will take a quick break as the Wascom Wildcat band, award winning band, gets set up and we'll be right back with their presentation. Atex Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of Wascom Wildcat Football. Atex Telephone is behind the football team, the band, the color guard, and the cheerleaders 100%. Atex Telephone commends the hard work and dedication exemplified by each of these organizations. It is through their hard work and sacrifice that winners emerge. Best of luck from Atex Telephone Cooperative, serving the telecommunication needs of rural East Texas since 1952. Go Wascom Wildcats! This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> The Wascom Independent School District, a leader in educating athletics, extracurricular activities, educating our children to be good citizens, but also they can attend major universities and come back home with an education to grow the community in East Texas. This school is a proud Wildcat supporter throughout the year. Go Wildcats! Right back here live, Jimmy Eacock Stadium, and the Wasco Wildcat Band is out on the field. The Wildcat Band is under the direction of Jeremy Gressman and Daniel Barber. Our drum instructor is Hannah LeBlanc. Color guard instructor, Tabitha Higginbotham. And our drum major, senior, Lizzie Crowell. The section of the week this week is the saxophone. And the performer of the week is Luisa Padron Bravo. Tonight, the band will be performing a portion of this year's UIL show, Live It Up at the Mardi Gras. Tonight's show features the arrangements of Old Man River entitled Old Man River Be Jumpin' and Amazing Grace.
as your Wascom Wildcat High School award-winning band. Having a great performance. The Wildcats and the Eagles have not made it out on the field yet, but they do have their run-through tunnels. They're getting set for the second half. Would like to thank uh, Fire and Dice Game Center in Marshall. Every week they sponsor and player of the game. Fire and Dice Game Center in Marshall is your one-stop shop for fun. And last week was uh, Leo Agundes. And so we appreciate them. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back with some more, or the second half of the Wascom Wildcats. Hey, Wildcat fans, this is Josh Manus, attorney at law. Let's all support the Wildcats for a great season every Friday night. Hopefully, we'll have a long playoff season as well. If you ever need a personal injury attorney, check us out at joshmanus.com. No longer do you need to call anyone in Dallas or Tyler. Since January 1 of this year, we've had over $10 million in verdicts and settlements. Check out our website at joshmanus.com. Has your vehicle been in an accident or in need of a little TLC to get back to that original look? No matter which fits your situation, Auto Body Express of Marshall is here to get your vehicle back to its pre-accident condition. With a lifetime warranty on paint and body work, along with quick, friendly service during the repair, your experience will be second to none. Our state-of-the-art facility ensures the quickest and most reliable service of your vehicle, so you get back on the road sooner and looking better than ever. Auto Body Express will assist you through every step of your vehicle's repair with updates while your vehicle is in our care. So whether you have a car, truck, or SUV, your friends at Auto Body Express are to ensure you that quality auto repairs are no accident. This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> Five Star Builders, the leader in barn construction and barn dominium construction, garage, storage buildings, all for you the way you want them. We have the experience, we have the knowledge, and we have the qualified men to do the job right for you. Check it out. Call 903-407-7627 to get a qualified representative to come speak to you. That's 407-7627. Go Wildcats. ATEX Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of Watscombe Wildcat Football. ATEX Telephone is behind the football team, the band, the color guard, and the cheerleaders 100%. ATEX Telephone commends the hard work and dedication exemplified by each of these organizations. It is through their hard work and sacrifice that winners emerge. Best of luck from ATEX Telephone Cooperative, serving the telecommunication needs of rural East Texas since 1952. Go Watscombe Wildcats! This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> The Wascom Independent School District, a leader in educating athletics, extracurricular activities, educating our children to be good citizens, but also they can attend major universities and come back home with an education to grow the community in East Texas. This school is a proud Wildcat supporter throughout the year. Go Wildcats! All right, we're back here at Wascom, Texas, Jimmy Ecock Stadium. Your Wascom Wildcats are up over the new Diana Eagles, 15 to 14. It's a close one. It is a close one here, opening district play. Every, uh, both teams want to be 1-0 and in district to start off the season. Wildcats are warming up in the north end of the zone, and the, uh, new, Eagle, the new Diana Eagles are in the south end zone. Both getting their spirit lines formed. Looks like the Eagles are getting ready to come out of the tunnel. We're under, we're getting close to a minute before the, uh, the kickoff, second half kickoff. The Wildcats are still warming up 
from now. I believe they're going to get over there behind the tunnel. Here comes the new Diana Eagles. Ooh, they got the horn. That's them, huh? Had a great halftime show. Oh, and if you are available, if you're in 6th through 12th grade after the game, there will be a fifth quarter at First Baptist Church Wascom. They're having a dodgeball tournament. That'll be from 945 till midnight tonight. Go up to First Baptist Church in Wascom. All right, it looks like your Wildcats are getting ready to come out of the tunnel. They're in the tunnel. And they're getting ready for the second half. We got the Barbie Bells out there. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of fun for those girls. Here comes Coach Pearson, and now here come your Wascom Wildcats. All right, we're getting set for the second half kickoff. The second half kickoff tonight is brought to you by Maverick Automotive and Exhaust Custom Exhaust Shop. Leading the way in custom muffler and exhaust work. Over 20 years experience in exhaust pipe bending. Specializes in hot rods and muscle cars. There is no pre-bent pipe in that shop. So if you hadn't got your snack done there during the halftime, you better grab it quick because we're fixing to get set to get into this second half to see who comes out victorious. Julie, what's your prediction? Well, I'm predicting those Wascom Wildcats. I have a I have a feeling we're going to get a we need to get one of those turnovers going our way. We need a turnover early in the end. New Diana does get the ball first, and they're already on the field and they're ready to go. I know they probably had a good halftime pep talk and they're ready to get going. But we did stop them there right before we went into half. So hopefully our defense can come back out and and do that again. That's right. So the Wildcats. Over here uh, with their coaching staff, their kick uh, kickoff team. It's like Nate Espy will be the kicker. The quarterback, it's interesting, the quarterback, he goes back there for the New Diana Eagles, number zero. Well, we saw how fast he was. Day one, Johnson. One of those uh, returns. Yeah, he was pretty fast. When they gave him the, they've had several opportunities, so. So we're 12 minutes are on the clock getting ready to start the second half, third quarter. Oh, there's the officials. The officials weren't ready. No, or not all of the officials mm -hmm. were ready. Well, there's seven of them, so yeah. quite a few. Quite a few. Looks like they are ready now. Yep, so he's giving the game ball to the kicker, Nate Espy. Diana's return men are on the 18. And we're getting set for the second half kickoff. Nate is set. And the kick is down the middle and squib kick. And it's going to be fielded by the Eagles at the 35. They'll take over first and 10. So here comes the Wildcat defense. Harley Martin, number 56. John Patrick, number 50. So Harley Martin, 56. Abraham Terrazas, number 53. 61. K.I.V. Sanders, they're the defensive line. And then you have uh, John Patrick, number 50. This uh, Mike linebacker. Moses Zagundes, number 17. This is the left side linebacker. Nate SB 22 is the right side linebacker. Bubba Jones, number seven. Kelton Williams, number four. Chase Calhoun, number 12, are your defensive backs. Johnson takes a snap. He rolls left. He gets pushed out by Tarazas. He gets the ball off. Oh, oh, and he, the receiver broke. The, the um, defensive back came back in a little early on that uh, rollout because he thought uh, the defensive line had him, and the ball was thrown out of bounds. Good for us. It's good for us. Our free safety there to top off the 11th man was number six, Chris Hernandez for the Wildcats. Chris Hernandez, um, well, did he change helmets? I was noticing a lot of his paint was knocked off his helmet already. 
with 11 minutes, 52 seconds left to play. Snaps taken by Johnson. He's looking left. He doesn't look off. He's just throwing that go route, and he's got a wide open. Well, it's more was he a, out of bounds? Did he catch it out of bounds? Yeah, yeah the, it was out of bounds. Out of bounds. So Which is a good because he was open. Yeah, number 19, a good route. I think we were looking for him to go that same way again. So That's going to bring up third down. Third down. Yeah, we got a roof repaired, thankfully, after the storm. And um, glad that uh, the heat's kind of uh, shaking off after that. Still kind of warm, but we're looking for the fall weather to really set in for the Friday night lights. Johnson has his team uh, in the spread, two receivers out to both sides. Third down, we get a little bit of rush. He rolls out left again, and this won't be picked off by Kelton Williams at the 50. He's at the 40. He's going to ju jump out to the 30 on the outside. He's got some blockers, and he's going to be squeezed out of bounds. Wow. And let's see where they mark him because the official got knocked down on the tackle as well. That was I, that. Now that that's, that's needs my theme about. music. Oh, wait, but we got to see that. Where's he marking him at? What you, would you say? I said that needs my theme music. I know, but you, you got to say, give me my oh, theme music. Oh, give me my theme music. <laughs> So, uh, Kelton Williams, number four, on our prediction, we needed a turnover early, and he picks it off at the 50, and he runs it all the way back to the New Diana Eagles 21-yard line. Your Wildcats will take over first and 10. So that was a 10, 24-yard interception return. Kelton Williams, number Kelton four. Kelton Williams. Got uh, one receiver to the left. We got a tight end in. Motion left. Gonna give it to Nate Espy, and he's got some blocks on the side. He's at the 10 and 5, and Nate Espy's in just like that. Great yeah, block. From the 21 yard line with 11 minutes 24 seconds left to play in the third quarter. How many? 11 what? 11 minutes 24 seconds. Nate Espy on the touchdown. The touchdown tonight brought to you by Marshall Hometown Tire, our family keeping your family rolling since 1970. We ought to start doing some predictions. But it's still early, right, mm -hmm. Julie? Still early. Now, do you think, what are we going to do here? We're going to go for two or we're going to kick? Well, I don't know. Let's see. It looks like we're going for two because Caleb is out there. Um, our kicker uh, is nursing um, his leg, so he kicked the first uh, extra point and then hasn't come back for the kick, so we're setting up for two. Same uh, formation. One receiver left, got a tight end on the right, motion left. Now we're going to Give it to Nate. Pitch it, pitch it, pitch it, pitch it, pitch it, Nate. Pitch it, pitch it, pitch it, pitch it. Oh, he's going to try to run it. Mm -hmm. I was, that's not part of the game plan to pitch it. Yeah, but, but I, I saw what you saw. Yeah, I was just like uh, this. Joe Irving. Yeah, Joe Irving. Just, Almost, just give it to yeah, him. Yeah, to the side there. But that's okay. So that will bring the score. Uh, Wascom Wildcats 21, New Diana Eagles 14, with 11 minutes, 24 seconds left to play in the third quarter. That's because we had the extra point. Mm -hmm. So We had went for two earlier in the game and got it. So. We're still a score ahead. And now we just need some the defense to continue to just push like they've been doing. Uh, who's at the door? Oh. <laughs> no telling who's trying to get in. The New Diana Eagles are knocking at the door. They're knocking at the door. The Wildcats then took, the, took it away from them. Run it. Kel Kelton Williams set that up on that. Interception. Wildcats are saying, we hear you knocking, but you can't come in. That's right. Well, um, And you mentioned uh, the uh, First Baptist Wascom. Yeah, having a fifth quarter tonight, 945 to midnight. They're having a dodgeball tournament. That's for all 6th to 12th grade. First Baptist Church, Wascom on Highway 80. All right, so the Wildcats are coming out to kick off. Let's see, it looks like we got a few uh, new kick uh Kickoff team number 25 is out there. Elijah Mockins uh, suiting up tonight. Number 20, Trenton Bush. Um, I believe his brother's number five. Uh, Caleb, the quarterback, he's out there. Okay. Yeah. I'll see if we can catch any other um, new players out here tonight on the first district game. Mm -hmm. As you know, our JV didn't play last night, so those guys are suited up tonight with the varsity. They've been... Um, Helping out on defense as well. We've seen several on, on defense. Looks like everybody else is um, the regular kick off team. And then Nate's going to go on onside kick. Oh, and it's loose. It's loose. Did we get it? Nah, it wasn't that loose. But that's that guy, number three. Let's see who mm -hmm. number three is. Because he, um, 
been doing good on defense for the Eagles. And that is Tavarius Williams, Jr. for the Eagles. He covers that on second. Now they, they just There's want to call. There's a flag. Call, they just love calling penalties. I don't know what that is. Let's see what they're going to say here. Now it's, it's, they're calling it on the Wildcats. This guy over here on our side, we need to get his name and number. Or do they have, so they have a line judge? I don't think, the, I think he's marking it towards them, but I don't know what it is. Let's see. Oh, conduct. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Let's see. No. Oh. That's not good. It was against, I think, number three there. I don't yeah, know what. It's unsportsmanlike. Must have said something or something when he was It was not it. appropriate. I don't know, but he didn't like it. No, he did not like it. Okay, so that helps the Wildcats off on field position. That's going to give them the ball at the 30-yard line. You better watch what you say out there, Eagles. Sounds like a goose. Or is it, are we playing the gooses or the Eagles? Stop that. It'd actually be geese, Julie, not gooses. I always have to get correct, Julie, on those type of things. So the Wildcats come out of the halftime, 21 to 14. Now we, I, we just, let's get another defensive stop so we can get our offense a little bit of, uh, be a little bit of comfortable setting for the next round. Maps takes the mm -hmm. ball and barrels his way to the first down marker. It's well, he be, made up, uh, made up the loss they got from that penalty for sure. Yeah. With a really good run. Ball's at the 40. Of the Eagles. It's like Coach Pearson's mad about something. Look at him. He took his hat off. Now he's putting it back on. May, I'm not sure if he's mad at the. Probably something going on on the defense. Eagles come out. They got a spread. Two receivers to the right and the left. The ball's on the right hash. Johnson calls for the snap. And he's going to run straight up the middle behind Maps. Mm. And it's a good tackle by Bubba Jones. Mm -hmm. Number seven. I thought he was going to get through there, so I'm glad that Bubba Jones caught him. Well, you know what? I said Bubba Jones. I think it was. Yeah, it was Bubba, yeah, it was Bubba I, Jones. Because we have a 17 and a 7. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're close to the same stature, but you can tell um, Bubba's got those uh, tall white socks. Mm -hmm. And uh, Gundes, he has uh, the low no socks. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Johnson has his... Uh, back to the right side. He takes a snap and he gives it to the back. Oh, hang on to him, Moses. And Moses brings him down. Agundas short of the first down. Mm -hmm. Be third down and two. They haven't really uh, run the halfback or um, too much. They've mainly used the quarterback and then passed it. But when he does get it, he, he's pretty successful on his runs. Clock ticking away just now under 10 minutes left to play in the third quarter. Johnson gets the snap and he gives it back to, no, he keeps it. And he should have gave it. No, he still made mm -hmm. it, though. Yeah, he, he still made the first down. I, I thought we had him, but he, boy, he fought, fought, fought. Well, he's, um, he's elusive, too. He's got a lot of moves like mm -hmm. uh, the, the Wildcat backs. Uh, we'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back with some more Wasp and Wildcat football. Hey Wildcat fans, this is Josh Manus, attorney at law. Let's all support the Wildcats for a great season every Friday night. Hopefully we'll have a long playoff season as well. If you ever need a personal injury attorney, check us out at joshmanus.com. No longer do you need to call anyone in Dallas or Tyler. Since January 1 of this year, we've had over $10 million in verdicts and settlements. Check out our website at joshmanus.com. Has your vehicle been in an accident or in need of a little TLC to get back to that original look? No matter which fits your situation, Auto Body Express of Marshall is here to get your vehicle back to its pre-accident condition. With a lifetime warranty on paint and body work, along with quick, friendly service during the repair, your experience will be second to none. Our state-of-the-art facility ensures the quickest and most reliable service to your vehicle, so you get back on the road sooner and looking better than ever. Auto Body Express will assist you through every step of your vehicle's repair with updates while your vehicle is in our care. So whether you have a car, truck, or SUV, your friends at Auto Body Express are to ensure you that quality auto repairs are no accident. Back here live, Jimmy Ecock Stadium. Your Wasco Wildcats are up 21 to 14 over the New Dynamic Eagles. Close matchup tonight in this district play. Eagles have a first and 10 in Wildcat territory on their 44 yard line. 
Wildcats up 21 to 14, trying to hang on to that lead. The quarterback for the Eagles is doing a good job tonight. Number zero, DeWan Johnson. He gets the snap and he gives it to Maps, and Maps is going to go up the middle. I'll we'll pick up about six. Brought down by Nate Espy and a host of Wildcats. So nine minutes, seven seconds, the clock is ticking. Wildcats uh, looking to stop the Eagles drive. Second down and five. They break the huddle. The Eagles receiver out wide to the right. They're on the left hash. Two receivers on that side. Johnson calls for the snap. And he rolls right with his lead back. He gets a good block. Maps gets a good block, and he's going to pick up the first down. Johnson does. Tackled by Montez Johnson, number 23. And 21, Leo Agundez. Okay. So there we got eight minutes, 33 seconds. They've definitely been hard to stop tonight. Yes, they have. First and 10 on the Wildcat 31. I have a change at quarterback for the Eagles. What number is that? Two? Jaden Williams? Or can't see. We'll see when he turns. So he's got two or two, two to the left, one to the right. We're going to come up the middle and Maps gets good blocking from that big old line. Stop by 22. He's shoving Montez, and you know Montez doesn't have a, uh, um, you know, he's a pretty clean player. 23, mm -hmm. Montez Thompson on the tackle there with Nate Espy, 22. Maps wasn't liking the tackle, but that is what this is, tackle football. That's number two coming into the huddle, Jaden Williams for the Eagles. As we mentioned, the Eagles have a gigantic – I always say gigantic when they're way bigger than us. And, <laughs> I mean, it's probably a regular size, but they're pretty big. Got two receivers to right, balls on the right hash, one to the left. And he takes the snap number two and gives it to Maps. And Maps has come right up the middle. He's going to get that first down. Maps is running on a mission. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's hard to stop. But he's getting ahead of steam. That line's giving him about five yards. What grade did you say he was? He a senior? I think he's a junior. Junior? That's yeah. good. Yeah, Maps is a junior. Mm hmm. Clock is ticking. So the Eagles, you know, they score over two passes, and we just seen Smith's mouth running from them out of the yeah. spread. Mm -hmm. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. And Williams gives it to Maps, and Maps is just right in those same off tackle runs, mm -hmm. and we don't have an answer for that. No, it seems like he's ran the same. Yeah, either left or right yeah. off tackle. Uh -oh. He's first and goal. Three plays in a row, and he is all the way to the goal line. Balls on the five-yard line. I have a feeling they're going to do the same. I have a feeling they are, too. I'm just going to say that. No, well, I mean, you can just tell. Where's the ball on the five? Mm -hmm. and give it to Maps. And yeah. this time we get there, but he breaks tackle. We get there, and we stop him. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, we don't stop him, Julie. He's still up. He's still up. They got him, but he's he, he uh, got to wrap yeah, up. He's hard to bring down. Yeah. Maps and um, Johnson are hard to bring down. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. He tried to he tried to punch it outside, and he, you know he's been more successful on that off tackle. Yeah, I think he lost a yard. So right it sounds like our defensive side. side on the right side, K. Ave Sanders, number sixty-one, and Abraham Terrazas must have got a good uh, run fit on those gaps, and he had to punch it out. Let's see what what we can do this time. He's got two receivers to right, one to the left. Williams calls for the snap. Maps is on his left side and gives it coming off here to the right. And we get one guy to slow him down, and he's going to be stopped short of the end zone. Real short. We could really use a bobble from the quarterback center. Mm -hmm. You know, give us give us a little something here. The other quarterback coming back in. Is that um, Johnson yeah, coming in? Yeah, the, the first string quarterback now came back in the game. So Johnson's in. I would just um, – if I was Maps, if the quarterback runs it in, I'd be mad if I was Maps. <laughs> Number 20 is on the right side, two receivers left and one to the right. They give it to Maps, and he's out there, and we stop him. Oh, 
Is that the ball? Or? No, but dang, boys. Ball and his helmet, I think. Dang, the boys. The struggle for the ball. We don't know what's going on, but that was some hard hitting by the Wildcats. And the Wildcats are here on a goal line stand. Brings up fourth down, and hopefully we got this ball. We'll see what we have there coming out of that play. It'll be fourth down. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with some more Wasco Wildcat football. This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> Five Star Builders, the leader in barn construction and barn dominium construction, garage, storage buildings, all for you the way you want them. We have the experience, we have the knowledge, and we have the qualified men to do the job right for you. Check it out. Call 903-407-7627 to get a qualified representative to come speak to you. That's 407-7627. Go Wildcats. ETEX Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of Watscom Wildcat Football. ETEX Telephone is behind the football team, the band, the color guard, and the cheerleaders 100%. ETEX Telephone commends the hard work and dedication exemplified by each of these organizations. It is through their hard work and sacrifice that winners emerge. Best of luck from ETEX Telephone Cooperative, serving the telecommunication needs of rural East Texas since 1952. Go Watscom Wildcats! All right, back here, Jimmy Cox Stadium, Wascom Wildcats. Got the Eagles here in a fourth and one. And, uh, the Eagles have just been running all over the field here on this possession. The Wildcats come up here on a goal line stand. But now it's going to get tough because look at the Eagles. They're not spread now, Julie. They're coming in on a tight formation. Well, they were running up the middle and just going <sighs> crazy, so I would have kept doing it if I was them. So they're set in a big uh, power formation, a big back back there. I don't even know who that is, but he's gigantic, and they're going to go in with a quarterback sneak. Crud. Somebody said, you just can't. Oh, I think it was J.J. Watt said, you really can't no, stop the quarterback sneak. No, it wasn't J.J. Watt. It was sneak. Tony Romo. I Remember think it was, it was on that we were watching the NFL. Well, J.J. Watt told me. Yeah, well. We watched that NFL game last night. Me and week. him are thick, and he told me you just can't stop the. I'm gonna give it to number sneak. zero because I don't. I'm pretty sure that was a quarterback sneak. How many minutes? Four minutes, thirty-three seconds left on the clock. That brings the score twenty-one to twenty, and New Diana set up to kick for a tie game. It's a one-yard run. Thirty-two set to kick. Crud. 21, and the kick is up, and it is, is it outside right? Nope, it's inside. So we're a tie ball game, folks. Twenty-one, twenty-one. Man. So the Wildcats get set for the kick return. And coming over here by the coach, getting their kick return team together. Wildcats are going to. Tied up now, 21 to 21. Four minutes, 33 seconds left to go in the third quarter. And you're at this, the first district game for Wascom and for New Diana. Both want to come out with a win in district. Eagles taking a little more time. I wonder if they're drawing up another onside kick. or Because we haven't seen them kick it deep tonight. Mm -mm. 21 to 21. That's a tight game. It is. 
Let's see, we'll check some more area scores for you. Texas high up 16 to 7 over Hallsville. Sabine and Pittsburgh still tied 14 to 14. Marshall over Pine Tree 17 to 7. Arp has scored. Onside kick, and it's going to bounce out of bounds. So it makes that game 28 to 7 with West Rusk. Gunter now over Gladewater at halftime 42 to 0. Oh, man. Yeah, that Harmony over Hugh Springs 39 to 0. Queen City over Elysian Fields 18 to 13. So Elysian Fields is coming back into that game a little bit. Lumberton over Tatum there in the fourth quarter 44 to 7. Lumberton. I don't know where that is or who that is. That's in their district. And it sounds like the uh, Jackets are making a comeback. I making heard they had a, a pretty good game last week. Just through an interception, kind of in a key point of the game, mm -hmm. that kind of turned it around on them last week. They may be putting some things together. We have uh, the Jackets next week uh, in Elysian Field. So always a tough game when we play that rivalry game. So come out and support your Wildcats next week. Don't know that we'll have a live stream from there. Uh, can't get good internet signal over there. So the Wildcats come out here on offense. One receiver to the right, got a tight end in. I'm going to give it to Nate on the edge, or off tackle. It's a good run by Nate Espy. Pick up about seven. Got mm -hmm. a different. I uh, think they only gave him about five. Yeah, they gave him five. They never give you that roll I gave him six, second and four. So Bubba Jones is the left side slot. And Joe Irving, the fourth, is the right side slot. Tight end is number 17, Moses Zagundes, on the left side. And we'll bring our receiver on the left side as well. Motion left. Give it to Joe Irving. Joe Irving's got some edge. 30, 25, 20. Good, good job, Joe Irving. Picks up first down. I need to move my little scoreboard up to the top. Why? Wow, yeah, uh, yeah, scoreboard's all in the way. They but, keep... Uh, right, move it to the right side. Or you could have just moved oh, it to the right okay. side. Because they keep... Uh, they keep coming into your scoreboard. Yeah, and they're right behind the action. and be behind the scoreboard. Yeah, you're just wondering what's going on behind that scoreboard. Mm -hmm. I'll move it over there. Let's, we'll see how that does. Receiver to the left. Tight end on the right side. Motion right. Bubba Jones... Give it to Nate Espy off tackle. And he is pushing. Him along with uh, his offensive lineman mm -hmm. helping him out. I think that's uh, Abraham Terrazas helping push. And second down and five. Wildcats now on the 11-yard line. And we can get a first down this time without scoring. So just take your time. Just keep punching it like the Eagles did to us. They ran that last uh, offensive uh, touchdown. Mm -hmm. One receiver to the left, motion left, and Nate got caught that caught, time. Yeah, got caught there. So that's gonna bring up a third down. So the Wildcats are. At the 10 yard line of the Eagles. Third down and four. Mm -hmm. Need to score or we need a first down. One receiver to the right, motion right. And we give it to Bubba Jones. Oh, and he breaks the tackle. Good job, Bubba. Get in there, Bubba. I think he got the first down. Well, that was a great run by Bubba mm -hmm. Jones because that guy, number three. Mm hmm. Oh, no, they mark him short. Dang, I thought he was there. That's still better than what it was looking like there because mm -hmm. he was fixing to be for a loss. Okay. Is it fourth and one or two? Fourth and two. Tough call for the Wildcats. They'll probably take some time, try to draw him off, and then take a time out. This is, we, we were in this position uh, earlier. we got two minutes and three seconds left on, on the clock. Score tied 21 to 21. On the ball on the eight yard line. So the Wildcats come up with a receiver on the right. You got to give it to Joe. Or Joe well, they're going to go with Nate. Keep, keep pushing. You got to keep pushing. Come on, Moses. Moses, the, the team is pushing him. Mm -hmm. Just depends on where they spot it. That line judge is not very friendly. 
Yeah, he, that's a bad spot. Did he get it? I don't like that spot. Yep, they gave they're giving it to him. So right at, I mean, he gave yeah, it right, right at, at it. it. So first down, that's a Fathom Realty first down for the Wildcats. Fathom Realty helping our friends and neighbors meet their East Texas residential, commercial, farm, and ranch real estate needs. So the Wildcats looking to punch it in. 21 to 21. This is a close, close game, huh, mm -hmm. Julie? First and goal from the six-yard line. Julie, you look awfully pretty tonight. Did well, I tell you that? Thank you, sir. You look so pretty. Motion right. I was uh, distracted by Julie, and here comes Kelton Williams. Oh, get out there. Get those. Woo! Kelton is fast. Kelton, he slipped back in the game. Yeah, he came in and got back in his uh, slot position. He's going to be one or two yards away from the end zone. He's just on the brought, brought the ball up to the two-yard line, so it was four yards. He got a four-yard pickup. Ball now on the two. I thought we had another kicker warming up, maybe off the JV. Mm -hmm. This is getting close. Now we're in a flex bone. Receivers are spread out in that flex bone. Give it to Nate Esby. Ooh, and he gets stuck there at the line. Mm -hmm. Who is that? That's that big 99. I think he gave him a yard. Did he give him a yard? Well, we'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> Back here live, Jimmy E. Cox Stadium, Wascom, Texas. Wascom taking on the New Dinah Eagles and mm -hmm. district play. We're in a tight one here. Third down and how many, Julie? Three. Dang, three. You sure? That's Two. What that, that's what it says on the board. Motion left, and we're going to pitch it. Joe Irving. Oh, he's in. Joe Irving's in. In for the touchdown. Or is that Nate? Is that Joe? That had to be Joe. Nice, throwing the ball at us. That was, that was Nate. Blocking. I think he was blocking. Well, it was Nate they picked up last, and it looked like he had the ball. 12 seconds. Oh, was it a B-back pitch? Mm -hmm. So 12 seconds left on Here, the board until third I'm quarter. Let me look real quick. And your Wascom Wildcats score. Now they're going to line up here. Let's see. I think we're going to go for two again. Going for two. Oh, my goodness. Motion right. We give it to Kelton Williams, and he does a dance act. Y'all get off my Kelton Williams. He's in the end zone. And that is two-point conversion is good for Kelton Williams and the Wascom Wildcats. That makes your score. Wascom Wildcats 29, New Diana Eagles 21. And what was the time there? 12 seconds left to play. Oh, 12 third seconds. Third quarter. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're almost ready for the fourth quarter. We're almost ready for the fifth quarter at First Baptist Wasco. Dodgeball tournament. Uh oh, you want to go play? No, dodgeball always scared me. It's scary dodgeball. Even in elementary. All right, so the Wildcats, they're, they're fighting here. Both both teams are, are doing well tonight. It's just who will be there in the last seconds? On the scoreboard, defenses on both sides. Of it. Uh, these uh, they were talking about it um, too about how this district's pretty tough, and Diana stepped it up this year. Wildcats trying to um, get going with a younger team, losing 18 seniors, um, mm -hmm. trying to uh, get it moving. Queen City's picking it up. Um, and, of course, you got Dangerfield probably at the top of the district and, and then followed by Harmony. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a tough district, and you don't want to get behind on the first game. Oh, and a one. So these two teams battling it out here in Wascom, Texas. And Nate Espy is set to kick off. 
I wonder if we might try a little onside kicker. I'm telling you, don't kick it down here to. Oh well, they don't. They don't have zero back here now. That's good because that's that um, Johnson is fast, and Johnson seemed to do good on this field. So we don't want to give them any support for the Eagles. Nate Espy's checking with his team. He's getting ready to kick. He's got something hanging off of him. Oh, it's a good kick. Let it no, let it go. You touched it. Oh, maybe they won't see it. But um, it was a perfect kick. Onside kick? Yeah, but somebody touched it before it went, and I'm not going to say his name on TV, but <laughs> I know who it is. <laughs> I'm not saying it. Well, I wonder Montez if they, came up with it after it went 10, but it was touched. I wonder if they've been uh, practicing that. Well, it's interesting because, you know, we have our players moved up. I will say it was one of our JV players that did it. So I mean, just, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, but I like the way that looked. It was one of them old spinners. Mm -hmm. He just spun on the field. Man, we had that. New Diana, they were just mesmerized. It was like um, uh, hypnotizing them. He was looking at it spinning. Spinning, hyp hypnotist. Now look where they get the ball. Like That's a not coin. good. Ball's on the 44. Mm -hmm. Well, I would prefer just go and kick it deep and, and no. make them start back. We back. want that ball back. So here we are, two receivers to the left, one to the right. Motion is right for one of the slot receivers, and they oh, he bobbles it. Get the ball, get the ball, baby. And we, uh, who come up with it? It I popped do not out. I know it's a pile. Yeah, it it's popped pile. out, and I Let's think the see. Eagles got it on the second pop. Man, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we had it, and then when I he jumped on. I think number up. 71 there for New Diana covered it up at the end. Yeah, it went all around. Ah, uh, that was the that's what we needed right there. And the Eagles have been pretty good about protecting the ball. That's the first bobble out of the Eagles. And, but they tried a different play. They were doing that jet right mm -hmm. with that slot receiver. Yeah, and that's going to bring an end to the third quarter. It is. Waskin Wildcats <sighs> 29, New Diana Eagles 21. My goodness, that's quick. All right, we'll be right back with the fourth quarter here in Wascom, Texas, your Wascom Wildcat football. This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> The Wascom Independent School District, a leader in educating athletics, extracurricular activities, educating our children to be good citizens, but also they can attend major universities and come back home with an education to grow the community in East Texas. This school is a proud Wildcat supporter throughout the year. Go Wildcats! Back here, Jimmy Cox Stadium. Johnson gets the snap. He rolls left. He's looking. He's got a guy, and he throws it deep, and he's got a wide open one, and he hits him. Dang. Blown coverage. So that pass there was just blown. Everything else was good. That was from the 44-yard line with 11 minutes, 50 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. New Diana scores on a pass play. You said it was 40 yards? 44. Dang, 44. Let's see what Zero they'll to decide one. if they'll go for two or just kick. Your pen is not writing for me. Are they setting up to kick? Who's that number one? Well, they may go for two because we're at two. We're in the fourth quarter and we're two point. Yeah, they're going to go for two. Jodine Johnson, they're in that power formation. He rolls out and he's got a guy wide open. Oh, dang. And they get it, and that will tie the ball game. With 11 minutes, 50 seconds left to play, got a tie ball game, folks, 29 to 29. Johnson on the touchdown and Hamilton on the two-point conversion. So what's the score? 29-29? That was quick. That was real quick. So the Wildcats have to come back and score again. 11 minutes, 50 seconds. If something had on that coverage, I, I, 
I wasn't watching it because I was moving this uh, around on my computer. But when I looked up, one was all by himself. I don't know how that would happen. He must have come across from the right side. I don't know, I have to go back and look at that one. Mm -hmm. So the Wildcats coming back here for the kick return. We haven't had a special teams return, but they haven't been kicking it deep either. No, they, they haven't kicked it deep not once. So. Well, that's probably why they're not. You know, that may be why they're not kicking Maybe. it deep. Because the Wildcats have been real successful on special mm -hmm. teams. Yeah. Either that or it's just not their, that's just not their game play. They just do this little squib kicks every time. That may be their thing. I don't know. So they're probably going to try to kick an onside kick. 29-29. I'm sure they're going to try. So let's see what happens here. Man, you know, that close from a fumble and then to a pass touchdown. That's so much. So yeah, it's gonna not gonna go not gonna go ten yards. That's great for us. We might get it at the thirty. It's at the forty. He came right back to where he kicked it from. Oh yeah, that was not very good. Not good. Thank thank you though. We appreciate it. The Wildcats are gonna be uh getting some good field position to start this drive with. I wonder why Okay, yeah, because there wasn't a penalty. He just, I don't know. So the Wildcats come out here first and 10. When it doesn't go 10 yards, they don't mark off another? Well, I think it's because he touched it before. That's what I was wondering. You know, when we did it, we touched it before it went 10 yards. This time, no one touched it. It just died. Oh, I'll say, he t picked it up. I thought he was, like, down in the box. So here comes the Wildcats. Two receivers out to the left. Are we calling timeout? Or no, the coach is asking the same thing you yeah. were asking. The coach is asking about that call there and why the ball is not. Uh, ten yards like we had. Ten yards. Yeah, somebody's sleeping out there, maybe. They're, they're going to discuss that now. Right now the ball is on the Eagle 40-yard line, which is where it landed when the Eagle player downed the ball or picked it up. Didn't we'll you say they happens. did a 44-yard pass, or that's where he was standing? When he, uh, so it was probably they were 40. on the 44-yard line when he threw the pass. So they're they're uh, yeah, we giving some instruction kinda... to coach on whatever is the reasoning behind where the ball is, and they're going to leave it there. So it is staying on the 40. And here we go. Two receivers to the left. Caleb Bush under center. No motion. We give it to Nate. Oh, and it's just plugged up in the middle there. Mm -hmm. I think he may have fell forward for a one. But look, they always put it back. He got a one. But. Mm -hmm. So bring up second down and nine. We're going to get us a line judge gig. Line ju judge gig. Mm -hmm. And always give them like a half yard extra. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be the half yard crew. Mm -hmm. I give it, call it the All Whites. They are good on that line. Yeah, Just I wonder call. how much that pays. Well, I don't know, more than we're getting. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a receiver to the left. Motion left. I look like we may have moved early. Yeah, we may have moved early. Two men moving. Mm. Our receiver up there took off early. Yeah, we've been really doing much better yeah, at that's that. Yeah, the first that's, one. Yeah, well, the first of the Tonight. year. We had a lot of trouble with that, getting called that. But tonight, we haven't had that, so... You do much better on that. Penalties, really, we've done much better all around. And right now, we don't need any penalties. Mm -mm. With um, no. Diana, they, they scored in the air. They can score a lot quicker than we can. we got to stay match for match on the scoreboard. Motion left. Give it to Joe Irvin. Oh, Joe's got to cut it back. He's going get, to get a block here. Get a block here. Quarterback, get a block. Good block. Joe Irvin had to reverse the field, and he's able to make something out of nothing. We're still going to have a pretty good third down to, to pick up the first. Did we get it to six yards, or is it seven yards? Looks like third and seven. We're going to get it? We're going to get it? 
I don't know. Let's see what happens here. We got 11 minutes left to play in the game, folks. Tie ball game, 29-29. One receiver out to the right. No, it's flex bone. We got receiver on each side. Bush under center, motion right. We're going to pitch it left. Oh, that 99's on your tail, and he gets picked up before mm. the guy on that right side stops him. with a. Now it's a fourth down. Tough spot. Diana's... Uh, Shut down Wasom's run game here on this uh, possession. Now the Wildcats are in. Um, fourth and long. Yeah, fourth down and seven. So we didn't lose any on that, but we didn't gain any. Um, I consider it long uh, for a fourth down for sure. But we're going to come up with something here, and let's see what we're going to get. So we've got flex bone formation. We're on the left hash this time. We motion left. We're going to go back to pass. Gotta, gotta get it, gotta, gotta go, oh, yeah, now get, yeah. Oh. There's a guy wide open, look, Julie. Yeah, I, I, that was, I, I just, I it's don't It's just hard, it's hard. It's hard to see We're not, we're not a, a, a passing no. team, and he's not, not able to see. Um, the field. Yeah, because number one was wide open. So that's going to put the Wildcats. Um, that's a, the ball go over on down. Yeah, they had to. They got to hold on defense now. All right, here comes the Diana Eagles. The ball's on the right hash. They have a receiver to the right. Let's see if they stick to the run game now with some time. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Johnson calls for the snap, and he gives it to Maps, and Maps gets loose there at the line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. He broke a tackle. He picked up a first down. Thought it's he was like going to be caught there in the middle, but he went around the side and got away. There's a flag on that side of the field. Let's see what that is about. Hopefully it's against the Eagles. Ten minutes, one second. We just got a tie ball game. Eagles have the ball. Fans going out there. No That's a face mask. Face mask against the Wildcats. That's no good. That doesn't help us out at all. That's a lot of yards. A lot of yards. Should just be 10, but it seems like when the other team gets it, no, it's 10. I think it's 10. <laughs> We got 10 on ours when they hit, they had that penalty against mm -hmm. us. Two receivers to the left. One to the right. Johnson has a back on his right side. Got a blocking back on the left. He, he goes straight up the middle. Looks like that bussy play, and he's out there to the 15-yard line, first down. So the Wildcats got to lock in here. They got to... They got to fight back. They're in a tough battle, 29 to 29. The ball's going to be at the 16 of the Wildcats, first and 10 for the Eagles. Tough position for the defense. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Johnson has it back on his right side. He calls for the snap. Keeps it again and follows that back on the left side, and he's back up the middle, and he's going to be in for a score. That's a 16-yard quarterback run. Nine minutes, 20 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. That'll put the new Diana back on top. Uh, it's the first time they've been on top now since the first quarter. That was a run by number zero, Johnson. Mm -hmm. They'll probably kick this one. Looks like they are. Extra point set up to kick. Snap is down, and he's going to get the kick, right? Yes, and that kick is good. Well, that'll bring your score. New Diana 36, Wascom Wildcats 29, with 9 minutes 20 seconds left to play in the ball game. So it's back and forth, back and forth. Now it's pressure's on the Wildcats to score here. See what they can come out through. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. 
Hey, Wildcat fans, this is Josh Manus, attorney at law. Let's all support the Wildcats for a great season every Friday night. Hopefully, we'll have a long playoff season as well. If you ever need a personal injury attorney, check us out at joshmanus.com. No longer do you need to call anyone in Dallas or Tyler. Since January 1 of this year, we've had over $10 million in verdicts and settlements. Check out our website at joshmanus.com. Has your vehicle been in an accident or in need of a little TLC to get back to that original look? No matter which fits your situation, Auto Body Express of Marshall is here to get your vehicle back to its pre-accident condition. With a lifetime warranty on paint and body work, along with quick, friendly service during the repair, your experience will be second to none. Our state-of-the-art facility ensures the quickest and most reliable service to your vehicle, so you get back on the road sooner and looking better than ever. Auto Body Express will assist you through every step of your vehicle's repair with updates while your vehicle is in our care. So whether you have a car, truck, or SUV, your friends at Auto Body Express are to ensure you that quality auto repairs are no accident. Back here live, Jimmy Ecock Stadium. Eagles getting set to kick off to the Wildcats. They just took the lead here in the fourth quarter. And they are going to onside kick it. Don't touch it. Don't don't touch it. But you got it. Bang. So J.J. Moore gets the ball there. It was not going to go 10 yards. Fortunately, well, he's able to it cover wouldn't it. It wouldn't have mattered. It was going to stop right there, and that's where we got it last time when it didn't go 10 yards yeah, but right where it stopped. but if he touches it and they get it, then it's their yeah. ball. Yeah, yeah so once you it. touch it, it's a live ball. Yeah. He did have it, but when it's right there, you don't jump on it then. That's a no-jump zone right mm -hmm. there when it's stopping right there. See, look, coach is telling me. All right, Julie, we're on the left hash. We're fixing a score. Well, not actually on this play, but here in a few series of plays. We've got two receivers to the right. Caleb Bush under center. Diana's on fire. The Wildcats come out, and they get the pitch out here. Perfect. Kelton. Kelton had to make a cut. Hang on to the ball, Kelton. Good, 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 good run. First down, Wildcats. That's a fathom realty first down for the Wascom Wildcats. Glad <laughs> Kelton Williams back in the game. He should, Kel oh, look. They, oh, they marked it back. They, did, they marked it back a yard. Yeah, if we were doing it, it would be first down. So it's <laughs> second Half and yard. one. Second and one. Yeah, them are some sly little line judges. That's a first down. Kelton's been um, definitely a key player for the Wascom Wildcats. Yeah, that's a good year. play by the Wildcats. So stay poised. you got plenty of time. We will have to get this touchdown, and the defense will have to hold. We've got two receivers left. Motion left. Give it to Nate on the left side off tackle. He's going to pick up that first down this time. There's a fathom realty first down. Let's see. What a Man, there's a lot of things that got to happen here, right? A lot of things. <laughs> we also want to uh, thank again Fire and Dice Game Center in Marshall, your one-stop shop for fun. Fire and Dice is sponsoring player of the game each week, and they come and bring a uh, gift card and certificate to the player of the game. Yeah, and they're doing that in multiple area schools, so thank you for them sponsoring the young athletes here in East Texas. Under center motion left, and he keeps it, the quarterback keeps it behind uh, Nate. Dang. They take her attack. No, it's a whistle blown, whistle blown, but way to attack for the ball. Mm -hmm. Also, stay tuned for after the game. The post game wrap up will be brought to you tonight by Casey Sloan Construction. With over 25 years of experience, Casey Sloan Construction knows the difference between getting it done and getting it done right. Call 903 503 3733. Casey Sloan Construction. So we got a second down and eight for your Wildcats. Give it to the Wasco Wildcat offensive line. They've been doing a good job. Two or six left, motion left. We're going to pitch it to Joe. Ooh, woo, right in the pit zone. Missed the block. But still, the Eagles, they, they're everywhere. Mm -hmm. They were right back there on the pitch. Seven minutes and 19 seconds left to play in the ball game. New Diana 36, Wasco Wildcats 29. Look, we, they, done made, they done marked it back a yard. <laughs> <laughs> Line judges, if you don't get it way past there, They'll slice you a yard. Third down and nine for the Wildcats. All right, a lot of pressure here on the Wildcats. A lot. Mm -hmm. Need to tie it up here. Yeah, we definitely got to run this uh, this play. You got to give it to Kelton right now. We want receivers to the right, and we give it to Kelton on the right side. He's going to cut up and go back the other way, which is this tough side of the side of the ball. Get there, get there, get there. Help him, help him, help him. What? Now they're blowing it dead. Thank he, you. Thank you, Mr. Red. Uh, 
He needed to get uh, at least a yard up because they're going to push it back. Yeah. And that's going to be, yeah, yeah. short. So. He blew the whistle. And it wasn't stopped. But I don't dislike that because I don't want anybody, anybody to get hurt. injured. Yeah, so it's going to be fourth and two. Uh, I think you still got to do that same thing. Or give it to Nate on this side. That left side, that 99, Hamilton, he is tough to, yeah, you to, go to block. Yeah, go to his opposite side. Motion left, Joe Irving. And they go to him. That's, they go oh, right at him. And Nate right Espy the says, middle. there you have it, buddy. And I'm coming right at you. Is a 26-yard touchdown for Nate Espy with 6 minutes, 32 seconds left to play in the fourth. Touchdowns tonight brought to you by Marshall Hometown Tire, our family keeping your family rolling since 1970. I told you they were going to score. Now, this is the big one. This is the one nobody knows. Will they get the two points? Now we can only sit here and watch. And again, our kicker is back out of the game, so we will go for two. And you know who they're going to. Now it just sees if Diana knows the man up. Look, they're changing. Look, they're changing. Call timeout, coach. Call timeout, coach. One receiver to the right. Kelton Williams again on the two. And Kelton's going to get held. Pitch it. You got to pitch it. You got to pitch it. Nope. Ah, see, they coach. Oh, that's okay. I mean, you saw them rotate. They rotated to the left. They didn't get burned a third time. They yeah. didn't get burned a third time, so we're only up by six. We are down a point, so oh, that'll be 36-35. Uh, I'm thinking. New Diana, 36. Wascom, 35, with six minutes, 32 seconds left to play. We're down a point. Yeah, you know, we ran those two points, and right when they we lined up, they rotated uh, two guys to that side. Two guys right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. And we have three timeouts. Now we got to get this onside kick. We're going to do the spinner. We need to talk to the guy that touched it last time. Mm -hmm. Say, look, we're doing the spinner. Thanks to KMHT for allowing us to bring the games to you live. 1450 AM, 96.9 FM, and our YouTube channel, Wascom Football Live. Okay, I just had something that came to my mind, but... Now it's fleeting. It oh, didn't. I'm just not going to say it. Because I can't remember. I had something. You know how you have something and then you're like, oh, what was I going to say? You're not, not young anymore. So the Wildcats sitting up here 36 to 35, 6 minutes, 32 seconds. And we haven't been able to hold them. I don't think this half, have we? We held them this half. We did in the first half, so we need a stop. So the Wildcats will come out here. Pretty sure they're going for an onside. Coach is telling them, yeah, this way. They want to kick it to the home side, side, put the pressure over here. I thought you had to have some on the other side, but maybe you don't. They're going to have to call a timeout. Yeah, they had to call. How many did they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, they had too many guys. They had too many guys on the field. And it looks like Coach wanted a certain guy on this on the field. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take a timeout. We'll be right back with some more Washington Wildcat football. This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> Five Star Builders, the leader in barn construction and barn dominium construction, garage, storage buildings, all for you the way you want them. We have the experience, we have the knowledge, and we have the qualified men to do the job right for you. Check it out. Call 903-407-7627 to get a qualified representative to come speak to you. That's 407-7627. Go Wildcats. All right, Wildcats getting set to kick the onside kick. Oh, and it goes through. The, it, hits a, it hits a helmet. Get it. Oh, we didn't get it. Man, it hit an Eagles helmet. It was live. And Rolled out of bounds before. 
Yeah, before we were able to get Wasn't coverage of it. I'm thinking we'd have been better off if it didn't hit his helmet because it, it had a lot of momentum coming off his helmet. Hit the turf, then the helmet, and then went out of bounds. That was an interesting onside kick. <laughs> Gosh. Mm -hmm. The Wildcats can't catch a break here in the second half, so now the defense have to come in here and make a stop. Got to make a stop because we're down by one. Six and a half minutes left to play in the game. 35-36, New Diana on top. They're breaking the huddle. The Eagles are coming up. The ball will be spotted. Now, why are they marking that off? That's, I, don't, I don't know why we're starting at the 47, but that's where the ball is spotted. The two receivers to the left, one to the right. Calls for the snap. Ooh, well, he tried to get us to jump, and we did a good job of not. Almost did. Watch that ball. Give it to Maps, and he's going to go up the middle. We are hanging a, on. Yeah, we're going to get a first down. That's number three. Tavarius Williams. Who is that, number 17? Agundes? Uh, no, it was Agundes. Yeah, he was hanging on there. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Wasm Wildcat football. Atex Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of Watscombe Wildcat football. Atex Telephone is behind the football team, the band, the color guard, and the cheerleaders 100%. Atex Telephone commends the hard work and dedication exemplified by each of these organizations. It is through their hard work and sacrifice that winners emerge. Best of luck from Atex Telephone Cooperative, serving the telecommunication needs of rural East Texas since 1952. Go Watscombe Wildcats! Atex Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is... This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. Back here live, Wascom, Texas. Wascom's down by one to the New Diana Eagles. Six minutes and 19 seconds left in the game. 36 35. Eagles over the Wildcats. So it's first down and 10. Been a back and forth game all night. The Eagles uh, ahead in the first quarter, and then Wildcats took over and kept the lead until that last score by the Eagles, and the Eagles went back on top. Two receivers to right, one to the left. Johnson has it back to his left, not blocking back up on the left side. They're waiting for the play clock there, running clock. Get down to four seconds, and he's going to call for the snap at two. Gives it to Hamilton, or number three, Williams, Tavarius Williams. He's going to pick up a good game. Second and five. Yep, and they're going to play uh, some game clock now. Second and five. Johnson comes into the huddle. And now they're just now getting up to the line of scrimmage. Play clock's at 11. They have a receiver to the left, two to the right. The blocking back's on the right side now. He's got it back to his left side. He gets the four, snaps it at three, straight up the middle, picks up a first down. So the Wildcats haven't been able to stop this run game in the second half. Mm -mm. Under five minutes now left to play in the ball game. Wildcats down by one. New Diana driving, getting close to the red zone. First and ten. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Watch the ball, watch the ball, watch the ball. 
Got a receiver to the right side. He's at 20-something seconds. So he's probably going to let it play down. So this is tricky for the defense as well because you never know when they may switch it up on you. Mm -hmm. Clock's at 11. He's been waiting for it to get down to four. Johnson's got it back to the right, and that blocking back's up on the right side. He calls for the snap at four, and he's going to follow his blocking back, and he's going to get to the outside, mm -hmm. back to the inside. He's going to pick it. It's like a first down now. Um, I'm not sure there's anything the Wildcats can do here. No. Three minutes, 54 seconds. Or under four they're, minutes now. They're down by one, and they haven't been able to slow the Eagles down at all. So you almost see, I don't think if you score, they go for one, it's 42. That may be their best bet is to let them score. So you have some time left to, yeah, to try to tie something. it up. Mm -hmm. So they score and go for one, it'll be 43. Wildcats have two timeouts left. New Diana has three. So now, you know, the Eagles, they're, they're trying to figure about not scoring. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now they're going to call timeout. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with some more Washington Wildcat football. The Washington Independent School District, a leader in educating athletics, extracurricular activities, educating our children to be good citizens, but also they can attend major universities and come back home with an education to grow the community in East Texas. This school is a proud Wildcat supporter throughout the year. Go Wildcats! The hey Wildcat fans, this is Josh Manus, attorney at law. Let's all support the Wildcats for a great season every Friday night. Hopefully we'll have a long playoff season as well. If you ever need a personal injury attorney, check us out at joshmanus.com. No longer do you need to call anyone in Dallas or Tyler. Since January 1 of this year, We've had over $10 million in verdicts and settlements. Check out our website at joshmanus.com. Right, back here in Wascom, Texas, the Wildcats are down 36 to 35 to the Eagles. The Eagles coming out of a timeout. They've been running the clock and getting first downs. The ball is at the Wildcat 13, second down and one. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. He calls for the snap. Ooh, it's a high snap, but he gets it, and he's going to get the first down. Yeah, he just probably should let him get in there by now. It's tackled by Chris Fernandez. And was there a flag? Is it a hold? on the back, so that's something for the Wildcats. So that's going to put them in a second down and 11, or second down and six. So the quarterback for the Eagles is over on the sideline with his coach. And the play clock is moving at 20 seconds now. He's clicking. Three minutes, 10 seconds, clock stopping on a penalty. 36-35, the Eagles are up by one. Johnson comes back into the huddle at 10 seconds. He's going to break the huddle with two receivers to the right and one to the left. Calls for the snap, and he's going to roll out right. Oh, and we get there. Moses, Moses Agundes on a sack. Now it's third down. Now things are getting a little interesting. Now coach is calling timeout. Coach is calling timeout. He's getting mad at the clock. The clock guys are trying to watch what's going on. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with some more Wasco Wildcat football. Has your vehicle been in an accident or in need of a little TLC to get back to that original look? No matter which fits your situation, Auto Body Express of Marshall is here to get your vehicle back to its pre-accident condition. With a lifetime warranty on paint and body work, along with quick, friendly service during the repair, your experience will be second to none. Our state-of-the-art facility ensures the quickest and most reliable service to your vehicle, so you get back on the road sooner and looking better than ever. Auto Body Express will assist you through every step of your vehicle's repair with updates while your vehicle is in our care. So whether you have a car, truck, or SUV, your friends at Auto Body Express are to ensure you that quality auto repairs are no accident. 
This is Matt Moy, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. All right, back here of a timeout by the Wildcats. They just, the Eagles got a first down, got a penalty, a holding penalty, went back to second down and six, and then they finally get a stop here on Diana on a play, uh, getting the quarterback behind the line of scrimmage, so it puts them at a third and 13 at the 25 of the Wildcats. Wildcats down by one, 36-35, two receivers to the left, one to the right. Johnson calls for snap. He rolls out left. He's looking at to pass, and he gets the pass off, and he's going to be short of the first down. But it is a catch. Tackled by number three, J.J. Moore. It's number 11, Hadley Overby. On a reception, or, or is that a for luck, Julie? It's first down. That's a first down. I thought he was a couple of yards short, but there it is, first down. Now we're back to needing to let them score. Mm -hmm. That was a quick turnaround there for the Eagles. Mm -hmm. Got a third and long. Here comes Johnson into the huddle. Got a receiver out wide right. That's a tall receiver. He's got two out there. Calls for a quick snap. The ball's high, but it's not too high. And he's going to break loose from the tackle. Um, you see number three. Tavarius Williams. Guess the Wildcats have to call a timeout. I mean, I, uh, I don't. You got to let them score. I, you, there's nothing yeah, you can do. Because we may need those timeouts yeah, to you, try us try to score. Yeah. So we done called another timeout. We'll take a quick break and be right back. Five Star Builders, the leader in barn construction and barn dominium construction, garage, storage buildings, all for you the way you want them. We have the experience, we have the knowledge, and we have the qualified men to do the job right for you. Check it out. Call 903-407-7627 to get a qualified representative to come speak to you. That's 407-7627. Go Wildcats. All right, back here, Wascom. Wascom Wildcats are down by one. 36-35, the Eagles are up here with two minutes and 45 seconds. Where's the ball? It's on the four? On the seven. Oh, on the seven. Oh, it's second down. In. I don't know what it is right there. It's second down, two receivers to right, one to the left. Motion jet, and that's where they bobble. He's going to go up the middle, let him score, let him score. It's not doing that, but wasting time. And look, I don't know, I don't know what's going on right there. It's some of the signals. So we're going to waste more clock here, and they're going to score. The only thing we can see here is if a fumble pops out. I wonder what the Eagles are saying. They're saying, run the clock off. Run, run the, the clock. clock. Give them very little time. They only have one time out. Mm -hmm. Don't give them any time to do anything with. They're saying, we're going to finally beat the Wildcats. It's been yeah. a long time since New Diana. They're in that power formation. And what the heck? So now they'll run off another 40 seconds. On the one yard line. On the one yard line. So now we're under two minutes. Just uh, eating the clock. 36-35. Wascom's down by one. Eagles looking to score. And Johnson's over there on the sidelines. He's got 11 seconds. Now down to eight. I think they're going to let it run down, and they're going to call timeout. Mm -hmm. They have two left. Yeah, they're going to run it down and then call timeout and talk about it. It's been the longest three minutes. Well, look, now they're 
I don't know if the, what, what's how the, did the clock the, the I, don't, I think they got to redo it because I guess it automatically goes mm -hmm. and so it'll be first and goal at the one or does it or did he not call timeout? He didn't call no, timeout. And the clock kept going, and they got three seconds. One, that's a. Look, he's going to take it down. I don't think they got the play off. Maybe they wanted to get that. Yeah, see, now, now the Eagles have realized, well, we don't really need to score. No. And we don't want to give the ball back to them. And we have no more timeout. So that now, we got, now we're under a minute. Yeah, it's, it's so the game is really yeah, it's over. It's over now. We we're going to get another chance. Yeah, it's going to be thirty six to thirty. And they're just going to let it go like this and let the clock run out. Well, there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing Wascom can and do. And there's now. nothing. Yeah, Wascom can do about it. So, so they're taking victory formation. That's what we were saying earlier. When no one's really thinking about it, you got to let yeah, them score. Yeah, just to let them score. No fumble. All right, folks, that's, that's it. That's going to be the ball yes. game tonight. 36-35, the Eagles. Wildcats were favored by one, and it looked like the Eagles pulled it out by one. Those extra points are coming back to haunt us. Uh, so the Wildcats put up a good good fight, but the Eagles are going to come away with a win tonight. So our uh, game wrap-up, I'll, I'll give us our game wrap-up here. Wildcats go zero on one. Um, nine minutes and 16 seconds. First quarter, Wascom scored first. Joe Irving scores on a 10-yard run. Extra point was good. 7-0. Diana scores neck with six minutes, 30 seconds left from the first. Johnson to the uh, number 99, Hamilton, on a pass, 26 yards. Scored the extra point, 7-7. Seven to seven. Was tied. 10 minutes, 13 seconds in the second quarter. Diana again on the pass from quarterback Johnson to number one Johnson, 60-yard pass. Extra point was successful, 14-7. to seven, Go up over the Wildcats. The Wildcats come back with three minutes, 25 seconds left in the half. Nate Espy runs in a one-yard run, and they uh, score the extra two points. Went up at the halftime, 15-14. to 14. Then 11 minutes, 24 seconds in the third quarter, Wascom scored first, and they, Nate Espy on a 21-yard run. Two-point conversion unsuccessful. 14 to 21, Wildcats were up over Diana. Four minutes, 33 seconds in the third quarter. Diana comes in on a run by the quarterback. Johnson, a one-yard extra point uh, kick was good. 21-21, they tied it up. 12 seconds left in the third quarter. Wascom scored on a run by Nate Espy, number 22, three-yard run. Then Kelton Williams on a two-point conversion. Brought the score 29-21, the Wildcats went up. 11 minutes and 50 seconds in the fourth quarter. Diana comes back with a pass. Johnson to number one. Johnson, then Aiden. He throws a two-point conversion to Aiden Hamilton. Uh, and they tied the game up, 29-29. Nine minutes, 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Diana on a run. Johnson, the quarterback, 16 yards. Extra point kick was good, 36-29. Wildcats come back with a run from Nate Espy, 26 yards with six minutes, 32 seconds left in the game. They missed the extra two-point try, 36-35. And that's where we end up tonight. Diana drove it down and took uh, victory formation at the one. And they take over the victory, 36-35. And that's the way we 